Hello. Howdy ho, and welcome to Tool Talk Live with Jeff and the Misses. Actually, it is uh, Tack Life Christmas in November, yep. a.k.a. Thanks Christmas Eve. We're rolling all the holidays into one this year. It's just a big, long, you know, celebration. We're, we're, we're doing a holiday celebration this time. I think we're just roll it through mid-February. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That way we, we get uh, uh, Thanksgiving. We, we get... Um, uh, Hanukkah, we get Christmas, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa. New Year's Eve, uh, my birthday, your birthday, and is Groundhog Diwali Day. Is Diwali in there? I, I, I want to say know. in December. Oh, the, the celebration of lights. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Festival of lights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our birthdays. Yep. New Year's. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> anyway, how are you all doing tonight? Because we're doing miserable. Yes. And uh, I hope you all aren't as well. Uh, we've got the flu or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not the Wuhan. It's there's, at least we don't think it is. Nope. But uh, it doesn't seem to match. Although everything these days is a it is, is a, a sign. symptom. Yep. Uh, apparently, not paying your light bill on time is also a symptom. Breathing. Um, yeah, breathing. Uh, macadamia says Ebola. That, Ebola. Yep. It mm-hmm. it very well could be Ebola. Yep. Anyway, barbecue seventy six says, "Hey Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat." Ooh. Oh wait. Oh. I, Gosh, you used to be able to do that. The, hey, Rocky, I should pull a rabbit out. My, I can't do it. I no. used to be able to do it. I used to. Uh, I never did, really did care for that cartoon. I didn't either. Although, I did have kind of a thing for Natasha. Oh, my gosh. Um, wow, well, how many people for being two hours out? All right, it's a long drive in. I get it. You know, we're up here in Montana. It takes a while to get here. Yep. Uh, the trolling for dollars, dollars says, howdy. RBX177 is ghosting in. Uh, Colorado's in the house. Corey says hi. Andrew's engine repair. Chaka Gills. Chaka, how goes it? Corey. William Vanderhoff. Uh, William Hughes. And uh, let's see. PJ Kentucky. Hey. Hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, in Asylum's here. Macadamia. Die Diz. Novus Nick. Andrew Miller. Frank Landgraf, of course. Uh Novus Nick says, lovely weather here, 77 and high, 48 uh, in the low. I don't know. I'm about 103 right now, so I'm nice and balmy. Yeah. We're kind of goofballs right now. Yeah. it's So I'm radiating heat. I have uh, some post-nasal drip, and every joint hurts twice. Um, Andrew Miller says, hope you have a good, had a good weekend. Oh, it's been miserable, but thank you for asking. Yep. Uh, Di says greetings from Wisconsin. Hey. Uh, Tim says hello from Boston. Uh, Futon O2 is howdy from Texas. Texas in the house representing Charles Vineyard. Greetings from Davenport, Iowa. I've been to Davenport about oh five hundred dozen times. I got family or had family in the Quad Cities, so uh, we used to drive there from Des Moines and from Omaha and lived out there. Uh, Tim says uh, we talked about Boston. Williams says hello from Georgia. Uh, Frank says, hi, from the land of the Gretsch that stole Christmas. Oh, <laughs> that would be Michigan. Yep. Um, <clears throat> boy, I hope that woman gets impeached. Sorry, no politics. You know, that's not politics. She, she, you just have a fever. Constitutional law. You have a fever. We're moving on. We're not politicking. Right. Everyone's already here. <laughs> Fred Hill says, yep, waiting to shut down here in Colorado, home of the tree huggers. Yep. Hey, by the way, I bet we're going to have a lot of new people here tonight. We read every comment that where you type at the den of tools, just like it says right above the mouse's ears, but right there, if you look straight up, yep, that's it. Cause it shows up literally like that as a big orange blurb to us. And that lets us know that you're talking to us, not just chatting amongst yourself, which is or, totally which fine. Is totally fine. Have your conversations. That's totally good. Uh, but we read every conversation there. Please don't repeat yourself because we will get to it. But because we read every conversation, I have a tendency to get behind. I am going to say, fair warning, I have no idea how long we're going to last. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Because I'm already lightheaded. Yep. Who am I? It doesn't matter. Just oh. keep smiling and reading the orange thing. That's a good point. Howdy from Phoenix. <laughs> and so I says, hope you guys are well. We're unwell. Uh, yeah. Hogmany. <laughs> Hello from Roz. Tony with the aliens. Hello from Roswell, New Mexico. Ed, the old tech guy. How goes it, my hey, man? Hey, man. Hey, everybody. It's Ed, the old tech guy. How's everyone? Hope you're all well. 
And Drew says, hope you feel better. Thank you so much, Drew. Uh, Chakras is waiting for viewers to arrive. The truth must be known. Uh, Steve says, sounds like the Rona. Everything sounds like the Rona. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the Norwegian flu. That's what it sounds like to mm -hmm. me. Yep. Uh, Carmen says, just saw your Carmex video. You noted your buddy Sequoia is high miles. The Toyota 4.778 is incredibly robust. Will easily go 500,000 plus miles. No problem. Very smart buy. <laughs> and that is why he bought it. Um, he accidentally, his wife had accidentally bought one. She owns a, a store in town that they do a lot of buying and selling uh, uh, secondhand goods, thrift store kind of stuff. And she also uh, ends up buying a lot of... Um, Used vehicles. You know, people need money. They you know don't don't have jobs or something, so they get rid of second and third vehicles. And she ended up with a a, a low priced Sequoia, and they didn't know anything about it. I told them exactly what you said, and she's fallen in love with it. Now she's shopping all over like a five hundred mile radius for other Sequoias to buy. I think she's got another one she wants to send them off on. Cool. Terry raffles at her. Hey Terry, how goes it? Because what did I miss? Um that uh the wife and i are both uh inflicted with something yeah. and um Some we're, kind of and don't know how long we're gonna go tonight but we're gonna have fun i don't remember who i am anymore but we're gonna keep going on with the show can you put some out for me too sure so terry thank you for the two dollar super chat and i super apologize i am like not myself i'm already like glassy-eyed like a weirdo so I apologize, but thank you so much for the $2 super chat. I am going to ring my little triangle that I have not taken any lessons on, so let's oh. not yell at me. Three, two, one. Bing, 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 bing. You can't bing with the, with the triangle. Last time there were lots of complaints that there was no binging. You have to ding with the triangle. You have to. Because you're my dingling. Oh, I am your dingling. Uh -huh. That's right. It's um, not a bell for you. You've already had dinner. Go on. Michael says, if you had Ebola, the show would be much more colorful and obvious. It, yeah, I'd be it on the floor be. bleeding out. Yeah. Mm. And we are making fun of it. We do realize Ebola is a real thing and it's terrible. And we are just goofballs from being sick and being silly. Yeah, I read the hot zone. I'm completely terrified of Ebola, but thanks. Yeah. Jose says, what do you think about Armstrong tools and do you think they should bring them back? Thanks for great content. I think Armstrong made great tools back in the day, and I think that uh, Apex bought them, took them out <clears> back <throat> behind the shed, put a twenty-two behind their ear. Uh, they're not coming back. I don't know why they bought them. Frank says Maybe the for things the tooling. are just fine. Yeah. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate the support. Butt kisser. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to be a little snarky tonight, so please, please forgive me. It's all in good humor. Uh, Fred says, I can't wait to get the shot so I can stop wearing the mask. Oh my gosh. You know, and, and I traveled, you know, I just went through four states to get this car. We wore masks. The, every place we went in, we wore masks. We were, we were good little citizens and everything. And, uh, and then we get back, I get this and he got food poisoning. You guys in the are super lucky. Super just, lucky. By the way, if you're in Salt Lake City and you decide to eat downtown, I highly recommend avoiding the green pig. Moldy pigs are to be avoided. <laughs> I go hey. in expecting, sorry, I go in expecting, because it looks like a British pub. I'm expecting pub food. And it's like millennial hipster tacos and vegan food. And I wanted to smack somebody. I think our dog just. With a, with a salmon. She just pushed her way into our bedroom. And then shut the door. Perhaps a little person helped her with that. But oh, <laughs> our door opened, she went in, and then it closed. Such a bad hound. Macadamia, thank you so much for the 2020 Super Chat. That oh. is amazingly generous. It is also 2020. It says, hope you both get well soon. Zinc and vitamin C, stay hydrated, and get some rest. Thank, thank you, you so much. That's I, so kind. Um, funny enough, bought these um, like rehydration packets last week because they were on sale and just today i was like perhaps i'll be utilizing them right now so thank you so much i'm gonna ring this bell if you don't want to hear it mute it or take off your headphones or something three two one bing 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 thank you for the 2020 super chat oh my gosh and i'm loving your icon 
with the American flag. Woo-hoo. It's looking beautiful. Um, Todd says, Bear, have you seen the new Icon Comfort Grip tools in reverse color? Uh, way black with red trim, like Pittsburgh colorway. Any word on why the change? No clue. I haven't seen. I've been either on the road or in bed, comatose for the past three days. Um, um, McDamie also says you drove past Idaho Idaho Falls twice and did not say hello. I waved. We didn't actually go through Idaho Falls. You come, you clip the corner, and then go south through through uh, Pocatello. Um. McAdamus says, hello, all. Chaka says, we call it the Chinese virus because it comes from China. And Hiram Buffett says, every year at uh, Diwali, if I can afford it, I distribute Larry Goddard signature counterfeit detector pins to all the convenience stores and gas stations around me. <laughs> uh, Frank Landgraf says, presto, it must be my wrong hat. And Charlie Fidelar says, some 101 will help. I'm all out of 101. But I do have a bottle of tequila next to me because it will tequila the virus. Um, I don't have a glass. Nope. I guess I could use a straw. That would be weird. Um, Steven says, get well soon. Thanks, Steve. And McAdamus says, that actually sounds like the normal seasonal flu. Take some zinc. So I'm C, stay hydrated and get rest. That was my thought, really. It yeah. was. I, just, um, I feel like anytime somebody gets sick, people are like, oh my gosh, you have corona. Yeah. And I'm like, I... I mean, you know, it is a possibility someone could have corona, but I think the likelihood is that we just have the flu or a cold. Or I'm something. pretty sure we had corona earlier, <laughs> like in the spring. Um, yeah. Futon 2 says, hope you all feel better soon. Prayers for a quick recovery. Thank you. Vegas Vince. Hey, says Greens hey. from Florida. Marcus says, hello, present sir and ma'am. Oh. And the Arctic Falcon says, 146 watching, only 36 likes. Only only thirty six likes. Come on now. Oh people. man, I got a bunch of tools to give away. I hope we get more than thirty six likes. Um, Michael says hello from Pinnell, Pinnell. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, and I've been all over Arizona. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, GCJT nineteen forty nine. Uh, that's a tongue twister. I had the same fever last Sunday, Wednesday. It was beer virus negative. Yep. <laughs> Princess Jamie says, howdy. Hey. Mr. Bo- Doughboy says, I live in Maine now. That must be nice during yeah. the summer. Drew says, hope you guys are feeling better. Thank you. Uh, John says, at least your head is light. Thank you. There- Hold on. She's stuck in the room. Elle, let the dog out. She's sitting there whining. You trapped her. She's not happy about it. Come here. Elle. Elle. Good luck. <clears throat> What's the rule? No, if we yell for you, you don't just go, you ah! Can you get me a small glass, please? A just a glass. Un petit. <laughs> I, I forgot how to say glass in French. Yeah, I don't know how to say it at all. Halen Wolf says, good evening all. Glad to see you all and that you're better. Prayed for you. Thank you for praying. We are not better yet, but thank you. Um... Michael says, using your, your program as a radio tonight, what is... Th- it says wolf. It's a plastic dog cup. Oh, I'm drinking in style tonight. You're super You sure fancy. we don't have a sippy cup I can handle? I, I can go find one for you. I bet you would. Terry with a $2 super chat. Wait, what? Tools? Mine, mine, mine. Well, you're going to have to enter to win. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you for the super chat. Bob says, greetings from Indy. Feel better soon. Thank you. What part of Indy? I used to live down on college in downtown. Um, Fred says, I saw a big bull elk bagged. I think a 14 point, at least 1,500 pounds. Oh, I'm so jealous, man. I saw one uh, two weeks ago get a, uh, a bull and a, a, a cow uh, getting loaded up in the back of a truck. Dun- Duncan has passed his hunter ed. And for Christmas, I promised him a, a new deer rifle. Oh. And he's decided he wants to, he wants something lower caliber, but he's realized that if he wants to go after elk, it has to be higher caliber. So he's accepted that he needs a 308 at least. Hi. Hi. Someone would like to be 
Come here. You want to say hi? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. go outside. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Oh. And speaking of deer, the bear is no longer O and O. Uh, tagged and bagged, we got deer meat in the freezer. Um, the good news is the uh, Henry lever action uh, with uh, iron sights came through and uh, and took him down. So we got some food. Um, we're waiting for everyone else to get all their bucks, and then we're going to go back for the dough. Uh, I've also got a white-tailed dough, and that should stock up the freezer for uh, a little while. So we have five people here in, in the house. Uh, Larry says, hope you get to feeling better soon from Chattanooga, Tennessee. My Harbor Freight store is great. We have two of them. Thanks for all the tool deals. Anytime, sir. Thank you for joining us. Wilhawk says, 166 liking, less than 50 likes. Come on. It protects you from the, the, the arena and the Ebola and all that fun stuff. David says, hello from upstate New York, the land of Second Amendment restrictions. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. We uh, we had a sweeping majority when it came to, comes to 2A wins here in Montana, and I'm breathing a slight bit easier. Um, hello from Minnesota, Mesquite Kevin says. And uh, somebody said that uh, Tecton was getting sold out of Myers. Now, I know Myers has been doing just hum- humongous sales on Tecton, but they've been doing that for over a year now. Now, whether they're going to pull out, I don't have any information one or the other. I would not be surprised to see Myers dropping Tecton. Tecton is, let's be honest, Myers is not where the true tool guys go to buy tools. And Tecton is a prosumer to professional grade tool. Kind of a little pricey for what they normally sell. Um, Tearfuck is like, I'm putting putting my mask on, Mr. Doughboy, the den of Lysol. Nice. Corey says, I just bought the Centec 3-in-1 jump pack from Harbor Freight last night. Reading mixed reviews, getting slight buyer's remorse. Is it any good? By the way, I got it for $54 tax and all. I'll be honest, I don't trust any of the Centec stuff. I'm sorry. If you're going to buy battery stuff from Harbor Freight, you need to get the Viking or um, or go with battery tender okay. online or something. Okay. It might work out. Some of them last. Some of them work. Uh, but... If I did buy one, I would definitely consider getting the extended warranty on it. Okay, um, our hound has completely lost her mind. Frank says the bings are just fine. Jim says, "Hey Bear, take care of the new, taking care of the new granddaughter Violet this weekend. That's awesome. What a wonderful That's name! That's so great. I, that I do like that name." Um, <clears throat> Bob says, "What are your thoughts on the Pittsburgh 225 piece toolkit Harbor Freight? Seems like a good deal with the coupon. All right." Fair enough. I'm not a fan of toolkits. I think they cheat you or cheap out in a lot of different ways. But they're a great way to get started with the basics. So you at least have that. And then you can buy the better tools as you go along. Uh, I honestly would probably prefer the Husky set uh, over at um, at the Home Despot. Uh, but uh, it's not a bad set. I know a lot of guys who have the Pittsburgh set and they like it. So... That's all I can really say on it. Uh, Blind Toolman says, am I late? Yes. Frank says, do you recommend a handheld leaf vac? Uh, As opposed to like a backpack one? Um, The 20 volt ones are decent. We've got the 40 volt heart and it is an absolute beast. Uh, App State A3 says, hello from Asheville, North Carolina. My cousin lives in Great Falls. Hope you guys feel better. Thank you so much. Vance uh, says, your wife's mic is off. I can barely hear her. Um, I don't know. I think I'm good. Let me see here. Give me a level. Mic check, check. Check. Here. I'm your wife. Being a goofball. I think I'm okay. She just has a tendency to talk quieter than I do. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to catch up on these comments. And where'd my stats go? Jess, where did you put my stats? Um, I ate them because I was hungry earlier and I didn't want to cook. <laughs> so I ate That's them. That's for sure. <clears throat> All right. Whoa. All right. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to have happen. What are you doing to me? I don't know. You're putting me all over the place. I'm feeling very 
Lightheaded? Dizzy. Um, if you think her mic is off, we separate the mics. So she should be coming out of one side. I should be coming out of the other side. You maybe have mono on. Uh, and mm. or your mic, your headphone plug isn't plugged in all the way. That will do it as well. And mm. Wahawk says, just had a glass of peach moon, peach pie moonshine. Good stuff. Cool. Uh, and then Ed the Otek guy says, 150 watching, only 51 likes. Please hit the like button, just yeah. like I did. Remind him it's calorie free. It That's is. Right. You know, the good news is it is the week of Thanksgiving, and in giving thanks, the Lord has blessed us by making all calories free. That's so. right. Mm-hmm. Can't gain a single pound this week. Yep. Uh, you should give copper fabric mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should get a copper fabric mask. Oh, I think it helps. Copper does have the ability to kill bacteria, but I don't know if it works on virus. Uh, David says just because you get three vaccines doesn't mean mask mandates will go away. Masks will be worn for at least the next year or longer. Yeah. It's Imagine. just it's just weird. You drove past Idaho Falls twice and did not say hello. I know. I know. Uh, Fred says, so if I get those blast shots, can I stop wearing the mask? I'm so pissed. Can't go to the range because of coronavirus and I'm a blast. My blasted hurt back. Haven't shot and ate my AR broomstick. Mm. Oh, that's terrible. <clears throat> the, I'll be honest. I did not get a chance to really cite my, uh, my, uh, my Henry in and, and I'll be entirely honest. Uh, I didn't get a chance to cite it in because it's been so bitterly cold and I've been so busy. <clears throat> and but I figured I was shooting. I'm trying to shoot from fairly close range. And um, this deer, he just paused. He just stood there, perfect statue, about forty yards away. I sighted in him and I tried to be. I tried to be a little clever, and I tried to go for a super high, shoulder spinal shot, and. I, I, I missed. I just straight up missed. First, I thought I hit him because he bucked. He jumped, kind of did a buck kind of thing. And I, I was like, oh, but the thing is, we were near the edge of the property that I could hunt on. And I didn't want him. It was like 30 yards away. And so as soon as I took the first shot, I racked the second one. Uh, he came down, he turned around, and then he bolted. And the second that I saw him bolt, I fired the second shot. And that's the one that actually hit him and took him down. And, uh, I, you know, it definitely would have been better if I, you know, I don't know if I'd cited in, I probably would have still done something stupid and messed it up. But, uh, you know, since then I've had a chance to shoot it a few times. It seems like it's fairly <laughs> accurate. I think it was just me being, you know, a little, you know, buck crazed. We um, have, sorry, we have a new friend here who's visiting from the Netherlands. It says, and I'm probably going to totally butcher your name. I apologize. Where is he? Um, he's in our chat. Oh, He's right here, honey. You can't see him. Just looking around. We have like, a guest. We have, we have guests. Um, so is it Chill? C H I E L. I don't know how to pronounce what your name. I'm um, under Helen Wolf. It doesn't have an orange thing. It says, "Hi there, great video. I wish you a nice day or night and stay safe. I'm off to sleep. It's two twenty-five here. Greetings to all from the Netherlands. Hey. So thank you so Chill? much for. I think it's Chill. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. If you do at the Den of Tools, that will ensure that we definitely see your comment. I try to sort of read them and see if I'm going to miss something amazing. So have a great night. Thank you for joining us from the Netherlands. And um, I don't know how to say good night in Dutch. Yeah? That's for Dan, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm having problems. I'm like, what do they speak in the Netherlands? I'm having a moment, a brain moment, because I swear that I am usually Dutch, a bright yeah. light bulb, <laughs> um, but not tonight. Hey, Justin Dow's in the chat. Howdy, my brother from another mother. Hey. How's it going? And uh, let's see here. Scorpion Sunday says, hey, Bear family. Gary says, finished the basement finally. Got the laundry room painted today. Wow, you've been active. I, was, I went from the couch to the bed, from the bed to the couch. I went to the bathroom a few times, then back to the bed, and then I got up to the couch, and now I'm here. That was my day. Okay. Trying to say um, something. So I would like to state that I was the first one to like and comment. Back up, just... please. Back up. I love you, but I don't want we you don't to want get you sick. We don't want you to get sick. <clears throat> I would like to say that I was the first one to like and comment on Justin Dow's video, so ha. She did. She was very yes, excited she was about liking. Yes, super excited. Liking, was like was the live, his live stream, right? No, it was um, the cooking stuff. That was oh, the, the oh, yeah. No, it was, I thought it was the chicken coop Yeah, one. it was the chicken coop. Okay. Sorry, I said cooking stuff. Okay. Um, I don't want you to get sick, honey. 
And Frank says the Presto reference is from Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> and Cool Sorry. Table says, hey, guys, and the chat salute from UK. Hit the like button, please. Thank you, hey, sir. Hey, thank you. McNeil says, from what I've read, Corona is more like an upper respiratory infection. It does not make your entire body ache. The ache makes it sound more like seasonal flu. That was my yep. thought. Gary says, zinc and D3, you live, you live north and we have lack of sunshine. We have only seen sun one day in the past week. Ooh. I haven't seen it in three days. That's because you didn't leave the house. I didn't leave the house. It's not the same. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm trying to get caught up here. Uh, Princess says, Corona's not fun. It may I may have it for the second time over as I came in contact with someone at work last week that was COVID positive, getting tested tomorrow. We will be praying for you, Princess Jamie. I would say I would be surprised because uh, they did a recent study and uh, and of something like twenty five thousand people who were tested for ended up getting it twice. That's interesting. I yeah. read something different. So of course we did. You know that's the propaganda they have out there. Yeah. Um, Mario says hello from NYC. Halon says schedule the live stream. YouTube finally got off their butts and got my channel figured out. Yay. Fred says, if I know you're going to Salt Lake, I would have told you to try the Salt Lake City microbrewery. I was thinking I can't give my AR broomstick. Okay. Uh, Terry says, how do I enter? We're going to deal with it in a minute. What's the secret word tonight? Secret word tonight is corpuscles. (laughs) Uh, Blind Tool Man says, Jesse. Phalanges. Phalanges works too. <clears throat> Jesse, thanks for your help this weekend. Good evening, all. Uh, George, 2000, a whole bunch of 99, says howdy. Uh, Michael Chesney says, new item for the pre show checklist walk the dog. It, yeah. it doesn't matter if we do that. She's, she still feels entitled. Yeah. GC says, what caliber? Uh, if you're talking about McHenry, it's 308. It's one of the few, um, uh, what do you call it, mag fed lever actions that you'll find. Uh, Mike Adams says, howdy, y'all. And Bob says, I just live south of Indy in Bargersville. You live by Letterman's old job at Atlas Market. I did. I used to go down there every so often. And Lynette says, hello from Corey and Lynette in Colorado. I get to feeling get to feeling better. Thank you. I will. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> William says, is it a six point that you banged? Bagged. <laughs> bagged. No, it wasn't. It was a smaller one. But he was hefty in size, which is why I took the shot. I wasn't going for trophy, really. And normally, I'm not one for taking trophy kind of stuff. But the boys were really excited about it. They were there as well. I'm going to show you something. If you all have are animal lovers and don't like to see this sort of thing, uh, turn away. I'll tell you when it's safe to look. So, we just got it cleaned and got it back the other day. There he is. Steve's feeling... All smug because he still has his face. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. It's safe to look again. Oh, wait. No, you're not bringing the jawbone out. Nope. She is, she's the one who wants to be a vet or something like that and very into anatomical stuff. She was all, after we gutted the deer, she was all up inside it and looking at everything and studying it. I was so proud of her. We were. Um, And then, uh, let's see here. Do you think that everything for a 20% off coupon will come back to Harbor Freight? I don't. I mean, it will next year. It's not going to happen this year. Uh, good move on losing that truck payment. Thank you. We feel a lot lighter these days. Yep. It's amazing. I was just looking at the budget last night in the middle of the night, and it was like, ooh, don't have to do that. Although, I will say, I did find out the first thing about my Suburban that I am unhappy about. Oh, yeah. The heated seat on the driver's side, which apparently is really common for this era of Suburban, the heated seat doesn't work. And I thought, well, it would be nothing. Take the seat apart, take the heating element out, blah, blah, blah. No, it's stitched into the leather. You have to uh, you have to remove the seat, unstitch the entire thing, get a replacement, stitch it back in. Couldn't we just get a replacement seat? You're going to find a blue leather. I would love to because it's a little broken down on one side. I would love to, but finding blue leather in the, in a, that year suburban is not easy. Um, Shaka with a two dollars super chat. Ryobi is garbage. It is an undisputed fact. Woof. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Bing, 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 bing. 
Thank you so much, Shaka, and good evening. Hmm. I saw you earlier. My my microphone is having issues. How do I get it to stop spinning? Uh, we have to do it later. Okay. You want a shot of the tequila? No. Come on, you not can't on your life. Anything. Not on your life. What have you done to the setup over there? I didn't do anything. It's called children. Where's the Velcro? Again, children. Oh my gosh, you people are destroying my desk. Um, Who's this you people? What? <laughs> <coughs> uh, Frank says, I would agree with you about Meyer and Tecton, although I did email Meyer and they said they were not getting rid of Tecton. John White says, second and 21st, my favorite amendments. Some of mine too, brother. Um, Hiram, Hiram, how goes it, man? Did you know that Tractor Supply Company <laughs> have some very competitive deals on duplicate cloned items? Also made by Harbor Freight and quality prices. Their prices are a bit iffy, I'll be honest. But when they're on closeout, when they move them to that little yellow section, they rock. Terry, with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much. Says what Shaka said. Amen. Oh. Three, two, one. Bing. 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 Thank you. Halen Wolf says, Jesse's mic is singing. You spin me right round, round baby, baby. Right, right round. round. Like okay. Right. Okay. Yep, now we're getting demonetized. Yep. Um, <laughs> because everyone knows that that's obviously the original. Mario says, what's the pick in the corner? God, you're going to kill me. Um, that's one of the tools we're giving away here shortly. Um, oh, I thought you were talking about the artwork. I'm like, the one that's there every week. Trevor says, she's fine. Your mic is a bit lower. There, I'll raise it up some. How's that? Get it? Anyway. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm here. Who are you? Why are we here? PJ Kentucky, your mic is just right. Just so you all know, there's something with YouTube. We've done these live streams for some time, and we've tried chasing the mic level kind of thing. Yep. And unless we get a consensus that everyone's like, your mic is down or your mic is up, nine times out of ten, it's either on your end or it is uh, on YouTube's end. And YouTube is... Has been doing all kinds of weird special things. So there's only so much we can control from this side. Uh... The, let's see here. Steven says, I'll have to check my Meyer for this 50% off Tecton tomorrow. Yes, you will. Let me know. <coughs> Jeez. Fred says, I watch a YouTube video on the best deer broomsticks. You can never go bad with 30 out 6, 30, 30, 300, 308. Now, 6.5, 256. You better be a great shot. Um, For deer, for like whitetail, even for mule deer. Uh, 270 is actually a fabulous round. Uh, 6.5 is a decent round. In fact, the number one caliber for bolt action for deer is 243 Nosler. Uh, it does not take much to take down a whitetail or even a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a, a mule deer. Now, if you want to go for, uh, for elk, you're going to be starting at 30 out six, 308, 300 wind mag and, and 77, or sorry, seven millimeter magnum and, and on up. Um, Our friend from the Netherlands says, thanks. And you can try, is it Gel? Is that how I'm supposed to pronounce it? I will see you later. I'm subscribed here. It's Slapleka. Bye now, which I translated to sleep tight. I think that's what it means. I think it means slap her. No, that's no, just that's what, what you what want it, it to I say. See it right now. <laughs> All right. Um,. Walmart has the best deal in age-old standard Buck 110 lockback knife, and those things are not toys. You know, uh, I used to collect the snot out of Buck and Case knives. I wish I still had that collection. Mike (coughs) says, my Cobalt Circular just started dragging and putting it on a fireworks show. I've had it three years. I bought a Chicago Electric Pro Series to replace it. Any input on the Chi-Town Pro? I've not had good experiences with the Chicago Electric Cirque Sauce. My understanding is the Cobalt's got a five-year warranty. So you should check into that. Michael says, I have a lot of honeysuckle brush bushes to tear out in my pasture. Any recommendation for brands of loppers or other tools to cut them out? Uh, I'm not familiar with honeysuckles. Um, they smell great. Uh, I don't know how high they are or anything like that. A lot of times for stuff like for lower bushes, I will use a recip and a pruning blade. Printing blades are fantastic. They're about yay long. They're really aggressive teeth, and they go right through branches and stuff like that. 
if you need something to higher up, then I would get something like a, an electric pole saw and I'd get it in whatever tool brand you already have batteries for. Well, Hawk says, if we all had Mickey or Minnie ears, uh, sound wouldn't be an issue. That is so true. Justin Dow says, cheers. And Blind Tool Man says, remember to like the stream. Don't lick it. Like Halon Wolf. Halon Wolf. By the way, I have to share this. Was it Blind Tool Man? Somebody shared this with us. Said that there is a PSA going out, and we want to be part of that and help oh, spread yeah. the word. Which is, please, and I'm not joking in the least bit, please do not let moose lick your car. Yep, it's a thing. Mm-hmm. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Apparently. <clears throat> oh, I think it was Paul St. Marie. Was, oh, it might have been. Uh, apparently, moose have a tendency, they like salt. Mm-hmm. And cars have a tendency, especially in the winter, uh, especially in the Rust Belt kind of area, to collect salt on them. And the moose thinks your Chevy is delicious. So no matter how tempting it sounds, when they're looking at you and giving you the eye, like, don't let I, them. Can I, can I like it? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. No. No. Just say um, no. Just smack him right on the snow. Say, bad moose. Go away. Send him to his corner. He'll he'll listen right. to you. Make sure your friend is filming while you do this. <laughs> just and send it to me. Yeah. Um, anyway, don't make me laugh. I'm going to die here on screen. Yep. Um, anyway... The point is that it it basically it not not domesticates them, but it it makes them unafraid of humans. It makes them come around town more often. So honk at them, grab the engine, do whatever you do want. Do not salt your car. Yeah, and you don't want them licking it because then if they get spooked and they decide to charge your car, well, good luck with the insurance on that. Yep. Chris, thank you so much for the one ninety nine super chat. It's so great to have you here tonight. Good evening, all three. Two, one, bing, ba-da-ding, ba-da-ding, bing, 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 bing. Mm. Thank you. That's just for you, dear. Fred says, you probably can't give an AR broomstick. I'll tell you what, if I could, I probably would. Um, Not on this channel, probably over on the Bear's Den. <laughs> we try to keep that stuff over there. Um, Blind Toolman says, so smack the moose on the news like Jesse does to the bear. Yeah. What? I'm huh? watching you. No one important says, hope you all feeling better. Best wishes from South Carolina. Oh, I bet it's nice and <coughs> toasty in down South Carolina. <clears throat> Paul, Texas. Hey, the David says, I had the Vulcan 350-pound welding cart and regret getting rid of it. Any recommendations on a similar cart that will hold two machines, welder and plasma cutter? Uh, the only thing I've seen that will be close that, that's as, well... No, uh, everything else in that price range is way more expensive. The one thing I do like is there's a lot of mods. In fact, you can buy mod kits for the U.S. General uh, tool chest, like the 22-inch tool chest that puts a, uh, a little uh, plate on the side and a chain for holding the gas tanks, and you can put two uh, boxes on that. Then you got all the drawers and everything else, and it's got hangers on the other side to hang your, your, uh, your hoses and cables and stuff and your mask. That's a really nice... I don't remember who makes it. If somebody else knows who it is, feel free to chime in. I can't remember the name of the company that makes it. Um, <clears throat> the Let's see here. Bill says, I found a 282 gunmetal mechanics tool set at Lowe's for 123 Wife always makes turn your videos up so she can hear you. Oh, cool. Oh, that's great, because usually it's people going, are you listening to that stupid bear again? That crazy lady in the bell. Or, or the dingling show. <clears throat> Um, that I would be the dangling. Okay, so let's talk about giveaways, shall we? Hold on. It's six forty-one. Yep. If I can pick it up without hurting myself. Do you need help? I might. Oh, yeah. come here. <laughs> oh, Dad. Dad can't when bend. It hurts too much. Yeah. What? Hand me that box. What's not cool? You made me move. Oh, you're such a whiner. Oh my gosh, your life is so whiner. difficult. Okay, don't make the screechy sound. I'm not even, I'm not even sure you can see the picture no, on this, don't, especially if you're on a cell phone. <clears throat> but anyway, this tonight's giveaway is sponsored by Tack Life. They reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to sponsor a, a pre-Thanksgiving, pre-Christmas giveaway. And I was like, you know, people have been liking them. Sure, why not? We'll see how it goes. So we're giving away uh, some power tools. We got uh, two different versions we're giving away. We've got multiples. So the first thing we're giving away is this, just like it's pictured there. This is the TAC Life TCS-115A 
uh, mini circular saw with laser. Ooh, it's like a shark with a friggin' laser. And <laughs> what this is, is it, it literally is, is a mini circular saw. And you're like, well, what good is a mini circular saw? Well, <clears throat> you got to understand the amazing power of physics. So when you've got a smaller blade, it takes less horsepower to get it up to speed. And it, and believe it or not, and it, it and it's, uh, somebody's going to correct me, but it's, it's almost, is, is it logarithmically? Is that the word? Quant anyway, it, exponential, I think, is the word I'm looking for. As it gets smaller, it gets, the power re uh, requirements get exponentially smaller. And so turning a seven and a quarter blade is a lot harder, takes a lot more juice than turning, you know, a six or five, or in this case, a three and whatever. And <clears throat> as such, these things can rip sheet good fairly well. They're super lightweight. It is corded, but you got a laser. You've got a thing. You got a a, um, a nice little you know foot on it or shoe or whatever you want to call it, and set it up with a straight edge and just go to town. And you can quickly rip sheet good down to manageable sizes. That's my favorite thing for using. Now people, some people use them for demo and remods uh, and remodels stuff like that, but. This is what we got. This is the first item we're giving away. So the way it's going to work is you're going to send an email. Now wait until you get all the information because if you send an email, you don't have all the information. You will not be eligible to win. Yeah, it can't just say okay. me, me, me. So what should the subject say? It's a mini Cirque saw. How about buzz? Yeah. All right. So the email you're going to send it to is, I'm typing it out now, Mrs. Bear at denoftools.com. You did very well with that. Thank you. And the subject is going to be buzz. Yep. All right. There you go. All right. That's in the chat. We're going to do the drawing for this uh, when we do the on the hour break. Okay. Um, oh, the heat kicked on, didn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm sweltering over like in a sauna. Maybe you're going through the change. <laughs> I'm going through the change. Oh. <clears throat> the For all you little kids who don't know what that means, ask your mom. <laughs> if she smacks you, you got it right. Um, you okay over there? Guys? Nope. I'm laughing at Justin Dow, too. You're not helping me. He says, LOL, I got a giveaway. And I totally said, me, 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 me. Uh, awesome. Um, the said, by the way, we do this thing on the top there. We ask our moderators to, we ask you to go check out our moderators. If you're a moderator, get the link to your channel so you can post yes. it so people can find you. Yes. Trust hey. me, especially if you've got a newer channel, just in doubt, anybody can find Justin Dow's channel. Yeah. If you have less than a thousand subscribers, it can be, YouTube does not make it easy to find your channel. Yep. Halen Wolf, I'm looking at you, bud. Yeah, I, with your channel. I was trying to find channel. your channel on the TV. I could not find it. We did find it, and we subscribed, and everyone else should too. Not family friendly. This channel is family friendly. Bears Den, meh, no, not really. Um, uh, ooh, some people know how to follow directions already. Nice. All right. Splat says, "What are your thoughts on the central pneumatic fifty foot air hose reel or Dewalt plastic enclosed reel?" DIY with basic usage and doing three car garage with pallet wood slabs. I think for DIY occasional use, I think either one of those would be fine. I really do. If you want something nicer, you can upgrade to the Diablo or something like that. Or, or I mean, I think the DeWalt is probably overkill for that. But I mean, it's it's your garage and however much money you want to spend. But when it comes to DIY, there's very few hose reels out there that won't do the job. Mark says, hello from Chicago with son, young Tom. Hey, Tom. And, hey. And Mark. How goes it? Richard says, tell me about the saw. Just came aboard. Uh, well, you know what I could do? Well, she reads this super chat. And I'm going to hey. post a link to Amazon so you can see all the details about the saw. Client Graphics with a four ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much. It says, happy Sunday Mrs. from Mrs. Client Graphics and me. Hey, we are so happy to have you. I hope you guys are doing well and staying warm. Thank you so much for the super chat. Three, two, one. Bing, bada ding, bada ding, bing, 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 bing. Thank you so much. 
and let me check out something else real quick. Um, also, they're going to have some other stuff. I should post links to this. Let me see if it's on sale right now. So, apparently I'm doing all kinds of things incorrectly on my phone. I do see that some people are excellent at following directions. Some other people... Not so much. Not so much, but that's okay. So, I don't know where you left off. Um, just a reminder, if you want to be entered in the giveaway, it is Mrs. DeBear at Den of Tools, and the subject is Buzz. Yep. You have to get the inflection <laughs> just right. That's right. All right. Um... Mesquite Kevin says, I found a great deal yesterday on the Harbor Freight scroll saw for 70 bucks. Can't wait to try it out. It's a decent scroll saw. It really is. Um, are there better ones out there? Yeah, but it's hard to find them cheaper. The only thing I would find, I would say, would be better than that is sometimes, in fact, quite often you can find old vintage ones, but they usually need quite a bit of restoration, but they can be really capable saws. Uh, Princess Jamie says, hello, Ed. Uh, Justin says, oh, cool. She watched the chicken coop video. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it has aminals in it, so. Yep. Uh, the Rebel Riot Robot says, should I buy a tool chest now or wait until after Christmas, Black Friday for deals? Well, that's the roll of the dice, isn't it? Um, I will say that if last year was any indication of this year, and remember, uh, prior performance is never an indication of uh, uh, future performance, as they always say when talking about the stock market. Uh, there was huge blowouts on tool chests from Lowe's in the Cobalt line around, I think it was March and April. <clears throat> um, we, we might want to move the, um, the, uh, the, the icon. Because McNamee says every time someone gives a super chat, it looks like the Tech Life saw is pooping into the tip jar. <laughs> So those are coins, just so we're clear. And thank you. I haven't seen that, but it sounds hilarious. Yeah, maybe that. that. There we go. Now? I, I mean, it, also nitpicking. I'm just, I'm just sharing the information that I received. Matt says, "Hope you're feeling better soon." When, when we get in some welder reviews, it's gonna be a while. Yeah. Um, I'm, Justin says, "I've got tiger blood. I can't get no flu." Oh my gosh. I dreamt. Last night or the night before, <laughs> that my ex-wife married Charlie Sheen and they were ridiculously happy in love. Boy, that's a fever dream if there ever was one. <laughs> they're so happy for them. They look so uh, cute hey, together. as long as they're happy. <laughs> Woody with the five dollar super chat. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you. Thank you so much for the five dollar super chat, and I like your icon. Three, two, one. K for Woody, is that a ham radio call sign? I was wondering that. Thank you so much. Barbecue 76 with a $5.76 super chat. Just got here, was busy, heard, enter buzz for a giveaway. Okay, buzz, did I win? Also, what are you giving? Uh, also, are you giving away that saw? I could use one of those. Children, if you don't listen to the teacher, I'm sorry, but you're not going to have recess. Yes, we're giving away one of those songs. Send an email to the missus. I'm pretty sure you have her email address. Put in buzz in the... Uh, With lots of Zs. In the Zs. Yes. And we will make sure to throw it away. And because, um, it's, and because it's Barbecue 76, we'll don't listen twice. to my husband. Um, I'm just going to hold the bell up because I'm not ringing it because your wife does not care for the bell. No. That's Cheers. Not we, children. Children. Oof. Not what we do. I was told Thank you. I could ring the triangle nope. quietly on nope. Tuesdays. Nope. It's not Tuesday. It's Sunday. It is 6.51. If you want to get in on this, this is before 7. So by 7? Seven? 7-ish. Seven 7-ish. Seven so you need to get in. You want no. Thank you, though. You should eat your cookies, baby. Over there is, uh, oh, talking to her, the, him about, um, uh, Paul Tech says, thanks for recommendations. I went to Lowe's, and guess what? I bought the Delta Table Saw, also applied in-store for Lowe's Advantage Card. They took $100 off. Wow. Wow. That is fantastic. Uh, Fred says, there's a brain-dead clown here last year. He shot and killed an elk on park service property, so he dragged it off the park service property. 
Whoa. I don't know what's worse. The people doing that or the, um, probably that's probably worse than the morons I see trying to pet the elk. There's, they go up and there's a baby elk. They're so cute. I want to pet them. Mama elk's going to hoof you in the head. Yep. Um, okay. New York Trucker 63 with the $5 super chat. Hope everyone stays happy and healthy. Enjoy your holidays. Thank you so much. $5 super chat. Three, two, one. Bing, bada ding, bada ding, bing, 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 bing. Oh. Bing. Thank you. And Sin says, are you aware that a bunch of bears is called a sloth? I am. I wasn't aware, but I totally believe that because I have a bunch of bears. A bunch of bears in my house. Try waking Sloths. us up in the morning. They're like sleep crack addicts. I'm like, you're actually not up and awake. Now. As far as I know, I am. That's right. Uh, Trolling for Delicious, what's written on the new sign above the door behind you? It says, the one with the bear face is the one he's talking about. Oh, it says, that, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Except for bears. Bears, bears will kill, kill you. you. Uh, the secret word is legs. Let's go and spread the word. Thank you, Mattamia. Sorry to say, uh, Fred says, I probably wouldn't give my AR broomstick away. I don't, I don't think most people would. Uh, I don't think most people would. I just like to support the cause, you know. Uh, Michael says, went through Indy just once on my way to Newport Chemical. Can't tell you how little I like working near nerve gas. Not my favorite thing to do. And I've never done it. David says, most readable sockets, easiest to read, 99 Black Friday set. Uh, that's a good question. The, most e the easiest to read ones, I like the new Tecton ones because they're laser etched and roll stamped on the other side, which that way you have easy to read. You know it's going to wear off later, but, you know, th there's going to be something. And you have the roll stamping on the other side. I don't know about $99 or anything like that. Um is that a six pointer? No, no, it'd technically be four points. I mean, he's got those are what do they call them? Tines or whatever. I don't think you'd call it a six pointer. Um, it's kind of unique. Why the heck did you get leather seats? It came with the truck. Uh, I hope you check the fuse and the relay first before tearing your seats apart. <clears throat> Haven't gotten that far, but everything else on the seat works. And the Mrs. Seat works entirely. So I haven't gone. I, I just noticed it today. And trust me, I'm not doing any kind of diagnostics right now. Nope. That's how we end up with, like, yeah. the car taking apart everywhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you check the fuse for the heated seat? No. The blue and maroon interiors were the bastard childs in those years of GM trucks. You mostly see gray and tan. Yep. A buddy of mine who's actually really big in Suburbans thought I was lying that, that actually accused me of being colorblind. And he said, they didn't make blue leather. He saw my truck. He's like, they did make blue leather. And he has since named it Ron Blue and D, which is can annoying. Can my hair? Sure. Yeah. Uh, you still have fuzz in your hair. Frank says, you get the best seat you can find, put a cover on it. You know, they do make heated seat covers, so I might just do that. <clears throat> Michael says, expect a seat, seat heater to work after 20 years. Might be a good idea to see if there's an automotive upholsterer in your area. But they know how it's done. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Someone asked me about 762 and 308. That's a question for DeBear. What was the question? 762, uh, was it 762 by 51? Whatever. I can't remember what the other half of that is. Uh, is the military version of 308. You could shoot 308 out of 762. You cannot shoot 762 out of 308. In the same way, a 556 and 223. 223 can come out of a 558. But 558 should not be shot out of a 223. Unless you have 223 Wild, which is there is no cartridge for. It's a chambering that accepts both equally well. And, but good luck finding it. But it is the, 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 the best uh, chambering for something like that. Angela Carson says, howdy. Woody says, thanks for the tip on the Metabo table saw. Red, love, love the saw and so far. That's great. And George says, have you seen the Chinese ripoff of your channel? It's called... The Cove of Carpenters has an animated talking carpenter ant named Red. That's how popular you are. Wow. No. No. The Cove of Carpenters. That's hilarious. I'll have to check that out. Look at that, honey. You're famous in China. In China. China. <laughs> uh, Frank says, how come the artwork is not bedazzled this time? What artwork? What artwork? Bedazzled. I'm not. I don't know. You're confusing me. It's not hard to do right now. Look at getting a heated seat pad that plugs into the cigarette lighter. Andrew, that's exactly what I was thinking. 
Although, you know what one of the best things I ever found for road trips? We have one of those. I forgot. Great. Is the heated blankets for road trips. That was one of the things that you always thought it was ridiculous until we went on a big, long road tri- trip up the mountains, and you fell asleep all toasty. I may or may not resemble that statement. Drooled all over it. Uh, the 99 Atomic atomic Anything All Day, baby. Nick Hoffman for the Emperor. That's right. Blind Toe Man says, fix my headset <laughs> mic issues. Was a setting, I hate Microsoft. They are the devil's armpit. I don't think they smell quite that good. Halen Wolf, I am sleeping on the job. $5 Super Chat says, okay, got to say this. Just get a seat cover you, for you to get through the winter. Well, that was my thought. Three, two, one. Thank you for the $5 Super Chat. Bing, bada bing, bada bing, 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 bing. Is that making you feel like your chakras are aligned? And Very much so. Yeah. No, not today. My chakras are way out of balance. <laughs> Will says, Dinner Tools, greetings from Southeast Missouri, watching you from my shop tonight. Hey, Will, thanks for joining us. Wohawk says, Jeff has the black plague. Wohawk, that's that's racist. It's more of a beige plague. Oh, come on. That was funny. I'm writing down our Dude. cove of carpenters over here tough, so I can check it out later. Tonight. Gravis 2000 says, just picked up the Craftsman Gunmetal Chrome 22 piece set. 122 at Lowe's. It was 249 last month. I will say, I'm not a huge fan of the Craftsman stuff, but at least the Gunmetal Chrome stuff has a finish on it that won't cut your finger. Excuse me. It's not bad. It really isn't. Uh, do you know a, a bunch of bears called Sloth? Yep. Uh, Michael says, not a problem. No moose in Virginia Beach. There you go. They're probably yeah. not licking you know your car. You just jinxed, just jinxed yourself. You're going to walk tomorrow? out tomorrow morning. Yeah. There's going to be a moose at your front door. It's going to be like licking your car. Oh, you rang. Um, you questioned our existence in your state. Yeah. And Fred says, have you heard of the 20 odd six? So on a gun channel, I think it's an older round, very first caliber. Uh, I thought it was the 25 odd six. I did see it. In fact, I watched it today. I'd never heard of it. And it looked like it was faster than greased goose snot. It was lickety split, like a neck down 30 out six. I could be wrong, but it, it was intriguing round. I'm, I like to stick, you know, we're up here in Montana. If I do more kind of hunting, it's going to be mostly big game. So I'm going to stick with the, uh, the 308. Um, so, uh, but I, I can see it being intriguing, especially in these days where it's hard to find all the regular stuff. Frank, yes. So his bedazzled comment has now been clarified. Mrs. DeBear had a show where the picture over the, her left shoulder of the bear looked like it was bedazzled. It was sparkly. Remember when I had all the issues with the graphics? Oh, yeah. It was in the morning show. So that's what you're talking about. Nope. Fixed it. Uh, Halo says, stop giving away my second stream surprise. Moose slapping. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, what is the best tool you've ever had? Uh, what's my favorite tool? I, my favorite, my favorite tool is, is like, it like first still? hand tool. No, it's the, um, the short needle nose channel locks. They're really old. Um, new tool is the Hercules 12 inch sliding miter saw. Um, cordless tool is probably the Makita, uh, impact driver. That I got for like 80 bucks after Christmas with a 3.0 battery and a charger and a bag and it's brushless. Um, and then as far as the kind that put holes in paper, I got to say that Henry is sweet. It's top of the hour. I'm going to, I am now going to put a, a actual, like a nine by 30 sight on it. I wanted to get the first deer up here with it, with iron sights. Cause you know, Henry, right. Has the buckhorn sights. That's the point. We've done it. We can now put it back on easy mode. Um, oh, my gosh. Big T-Kittle says you can shoot an elk in the butt and it will still get into the boiler room using the 270 Weatherby mag. And Fred says not for my cold, dead hands. Oh, my goodness. Macadamia with another amazing 2020 super chat. Thank you so much. I'm not sure I can say all that stuff. I ordered an ESOB EMP 235IC welder and the Thermal Dynamics <clears throat> Cutmaster 60IXP plasma cutter this past Thursday. Also, my Fab Block FB3030 weld table arrived on Friday. I cannot wait to play with the new stuff. Awesome. That sounds cool. 
Thank you so much again for the super chat, and I can't wait to see what you create. Three, two, one. Bing, bada bing, bada bing, 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 bing. Thank you. Wohawk says it's 1940 CST as a type just for reference. Really? It's I'm only 22 minutes behind. If somebody can keep interrupting me. Trent says there's absolutely nothing wrong with trophy hunting. It is good for local economies. Vastly improves the gene pool. Ethically the best type of hunting. Makita sucks. Uh, Michael says, thanks for suggesting. You do you, man. I'm just talking about me. Thanks for suggesting for printing blades. Tried my cordless recip with regular wood blades. Knew nothing about printing blades. I bought the Lynx pole saw from Harbor Freight. Been a good tool. It's not terrible. I have the Lafelli version. Shut the door. Saw, essentially. Um, Mike says, do not, don't stress. I stress, don't blow your horn at Moose or you'll be wishing you had just let him lick your car. Yeah. While you wait on the tow truck to come pick up your total vehicle. <laughs> yep. Mizzy TDR. Thank you so much for the 499 super chat. I am new and have been watching you. Love your content. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Bing, bada bing, bada bing, 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 bing. Welcome, and thank you for the super chat. Just a reminder, it is top of the hours. <clears throat> Frank says, I would think if a person buys a welder and a plasma cutter, why don't they make a cart? Well, I'll tell you a lot of the reasons. It's the same reason a lot of people say, well, why did you buy, buy a bench? Why didn't you just make one? Well, if you don't have one to start off with, it can be a bit cumbersome to do it. Second of all, maybe people just want to start working on other projects. Maybe they don't want to spend their first you know, week or two working on building a cart. Um, Mark says, hello from Chicago with my son, Young Tom. We thought we yep. covered that one. Uh, cool Tool says, I miss all kinds of broomsticks. One of the first things I did in Vegas was that showing my son the drills, fuel set, uh, MP3 SIG, P26, etc. Uh, Fuja's like, what? No whole life? Not today. Uh, Michael says, if my DDS wins, that I'm finding a new doctor. <laughs> nice. Fred says, I've heard some reloaders make the rounds too strong and hot. It, you're talking about the people or the machines? Uh, the machines should get tuned. Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue regardless of the machine. You should be tuning it to a point where it's doing what you want. Um, that said, I don't shoot other people's loads. And remember, this is a family-friendly channel, so. Uh, Nick says, just ordered a Lumix G7 mirrorless camera for $300 off of B&H. Wow. I remember when that camera was well over $1,000. And Christopher says, hello from the south side of Chicago. And uh, Fred Hill says, that song needs to go to Fred Hill. These are the droids you were looking for. <laughs> and let's see here. <coughs> Justin said, just posted it for a DeWalt giveaway. And let's see. Okay. So we're going to do the shout out. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lightheaded here. So yep. it's time for you. Yes, you. To adopt your very own mod. Hey, mods, if you if you got a channel, post a link right down below. What we ask is that you share the love. Most of our mods are creators in their own right. They do this for the, out of the love of, of the community. So share some love by going over and checking out uh, their channels as well. Uh that we got a lot of people with a lot of great content. Go and check them out. Pick one. I don't care what what you use for relevance, you know, whether you like the way their name sounds or what their icon is or you roll a die. Just go and check them out and leave a like on one of their videos. Maybe even consider subscribing. Who knows? You may find some new great content. Also, a huge shout out. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting the chat tonight with uh, the super chats. You guys are fantastic. Um, I'll be honest, uh, I I wanted to not do the video tonight. She wanted to not do the video tonight. But yeah. we promised you all, and I, I teased you all week with the fact we were doing giveaways. And so we're here for you, and it's nice to see you're here for us also. Really appreciate it. And a special thank you to all the Team Tool Bear members. That's everyone you see. Uh, Frank Landgraf, Macadamia, uh, Ed the Old Tech Guy, Princess Jamie, and others. Uh, everyone who's got a little bear behind their name. Uh, the color of the bear determines how long they've been a member. Uh, it's like Patreon, but built into YouTube. If you're interested, there's information in the links down below uh, of the video. That said, uh, is um, Joe Smith in, in the house? Have we seen him? No. All right. Who's going to who's gonna do the calling for the numbers tonight? Have you found out the numbers for tonight? Um, I just was realizing that I need to count them out. Okay, so it's going to be a minute. <coughs> it's 
It's going to be two seconds. How about we'll have Princess Jamie do it? How about Princess Jamie? You want to call the number tonight? We've got to wait a minute. Wife will find the numbers. And we'll have Princess Jamie do the calling on it. Blind Toolman says, uh, I found Halen Wolf and returned him because he isn't housebroken either. That is a danger. We do not guarantee that the mods are housebroken. Uh, Steven says, is the saw tool only or complete with battery and charger? Uh, it's better than that. It's got the longest lifetime you'll find of any cordless tool because it's corded. Uh, Wilhawk says, Dot Daughter Raw, the best no content on all of YouTube. Uh, Asylum says, both of you sound good to me. You might want to fix your headphone because I sound terrible. Macadamia says, every time someone gives a super chat, the Tech Life Saw, Tech Life Saw looks like it's pooping in the tip glass. I don't see why that's a problem. Yeah, we have 85. 85? <clears throat> wow, that would be probably a record. Yeah. Well... Uh, Princess Jamie, if you could pick a number between zero and 86 or between one and 85, including both one and 85, <laughs> however you want to do it, do your thing. Uh, let us know who won tonight. Do your magic. Uh, Wohawk says rules are stupid. Wohawk has just opted out of the contest. Uh, Toon says Mrs. DeBear subject buzz. <laughs> and let's see here. Uh, Wohawk says we don't need no stinking rules. That's Just right. now, LOL. Mike Demon says, I paid to see that movie with your ex, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> it's going to be a lifetime. It's going to be one of those Hallmark movies. Uh, I think it's called Song of the Tiger. Uh, Fred says, I just saw below your picture that the Olight has a Black Friday sale right now. They do. They, they're having a sale on some really nice lights. I don't know anything about those. Do Thank you, you, Princess Jamie. She sent me the number. <coughs> Griff. <clears throat> Griff, come here. She sent you the number. Yep, oh. she sent it to me directly. The number is sixty, so now come I here. get to count to sixty to find our winner. <coughs> Not so close to me, okay? Yeah, but, and there's that copper-colored light stuck in that center box. It's on the side. On the side. Oh. You okay. know the center console? Mm -hmm. The one, the box all the way at the front. It's hanging like this on the side of the box. It's copper colored. You can't miss it. This is the fun okay. part of getting a sick person to count. <laughs> oh, we're up to 275. I know. My temperature is 275. I must yeah. be dead. Um, <laughs> you must be dead. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Why did you do that? Now I can't. Halo says, did you see there was a new movie? 67, 94, 103. Did you see there was a new what movie? What is out? wrong with you? Oh, so much. So much. I can't oh list it all gosh. here tonight. Uh, did you see there was a new movie out with Jackie Chan and Arnold Schwarzenegger called Iron Dragon? Is that for real? I would love to watch that. I love Jackie Chan. What's the smallest handheld saw that can cut quarter-inch steel in a straight line? I have a winner. I have no idea. <clears throat> that, that is not a. Um, it's not something I've, I've worked on. Quarter inch steel. I think you call it a plasma cutter. Uh, I, I have a winner. They're hanging up where the keys hang up. You have a wiener. What? Yes. I have breaking news. I have a wiener. I have a winner. It's wiener. The crying game winner. All over again. Chicken dinner. Who won? Steven. Steve. Steven won like, well, I guess a long time ago. All right. Steven. Congratulations, sir. You are the proud owner of a new mini Cirque saw. Yipper, yippers. So I'm, rel I'm relying. I am replying and asking for your address, but I think I already have it. You think? Um, but you are getting an official email letting you know that you are the Ooh, wiener. The it's wiener. official now. Well, it's going to be official when I send it. So thank you so much, Princess Jamie, for giving us the number. You were awesome. Oh, 60, the year of my first car. I did wonder how you picked the number. Um, but thank you so much. Whoa, PJ Kentucky says 60, the number of my exes. I think you mean six. Oh, look, he's got something for you, Dad. I was able to find it. Good job. All right. I know it's huge. I got to reduce the size. This is the next tool up for bid or up for giveaway. We're up not for bid. We're not bidding on it. But. Um, sorry. I know that you didn't mention it this time last, whatever. Hi, I can't speak English. Hello. Welcome to the show. Um, just a reminder. Unfortunately, we cannot ship internationally. Are you? 
What is wrong with you? Oh, sorry. Did that get you? Oh. And our son. He's lying. Anyways, the what I was saying is that this is unfortunately only open to those in the United States. Sadly, we cannot ship overseas. In the lower 48, to be honest. Yes. <clears throat> Unless you want to pay for shipping, which you probably don't. <clears throat> as far as Olife goes. Olife, is that right? Olight. Olight. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> yeah. It's not Olaf. It's not the snowman. I have a new favorite flashlight. Check this thing out. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me let me this check that out. No. Okay. See, I haven't even seen that. Do you see what I happened right you, there? I won't let you Did touch you see what it. happened? Get. Hi. What's going on? You want to see what's going no. on? No. I will strobe nope. you in a heartbeat. That's not very nice. Give it to me. Nope. Give it. Give it. You're not the boss of me. I'm going to put you in the timeout room again. So anyway... <clears throat> Excuse me. If you had seen the pen light that they came out with a while back, they came out with a new one in copper. And now I have a matching. Look at this. I'm color coordinated. Aren't in, you fancy? In copper. This thing is fan freaking tastic. And not only does it have the magnetic base for charging, but it can also be used in a tactical setup. And it's also got the little push button mode thing on it as well. Um, and then if you've seen, they also have the, uh, this is the one we've had for a while. This is the little tiny, little right angle one. Well, they came out with its big brother. Look at that. This is, this is the old one. This is the big brother. And if you see the little dent there at the top, not dent, but the little dark spot there, it is a, a, a proximity sensor. So if you get oh, close to. Go sit down. Oh, Bella just whacked him in the business. Yeah, well, that's what she, he gets for. Yeah. I'm Snoop Dogg. Anyway, these are fantastic. We're probably going to do a, a giveaway with these. Not this. This one's mine. But the other ones are going to be doing a giveaway <laughs> on. Um, oh, my goodness. And then Sorry. we also have the little mini keychain light and the camo i5T EO5 or EOS. I can't read it. This thing as well. Oh, I thought that was mine. I thought you got that oh. for me. Christmas for my Christmas. Sorry, I just got really lightheaded. <sighs> so while you are recovering, no, hold on before you get to the super chats. Okay, let's talk about the. It's not a Dremel; it's a rotary tool because Dremel's a name brand. Oh my gosh! They get really Sounds. snitty when you <laughs> use brand terms for this kind of stuff. I thought Harbor Freight was going to light me on fire every time I called their circ or their recip saw sawzall. Um, the sorry, everyone, I'm a little out of it. Uh, we are going to give away the rotary tool here. It's the whole box there again. This is corded, not cordless, which for a rotary tool is probably what you want nine times out of ten. It's got the whole kit. Uh, let me find the link to it. That's not it. This one is. If you want the full details, don't ask me. It's going there. Again, you're going to send an email to... Wait for it. Don't don't send it until I say I'm done. Just send it to Mrs. I'm typing it in right now. Mrs. DeVere at denoftools.com. And... Uh, the... Um, I am so out of it, people. I am so sorry. The subject is what? Mm. Uh, it's a German movie. How about, how about this? No. Uh, subject is <laughs> XYZ. Because I can't think of anything. <laughs> yep. And I'm brain dead. <clears throat> so Joseph Six says, "Nope, it's a Dremel." Joseph Griffin? Waltman no. with the nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much. I love the bear. Number one oh, fan. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Ding, ba -da ding, ba -da ding, bing, 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 bing. Thank you so much. Barbecue seventy six with the five dollar super chat. Yes, Dremel, please. Did I win? Um, not yet. So, I'm not going to ring the bell for Mrs. Barbecue 76. Thank you so much. 
<clears throat> I also think that I missed a super chat you know from. What? You can ring my bell. Okay, lean your. You can ring my bell. Ring your. Bell. Ring your. Anyway, bring it's your a song. Gonna, I know. I was going to whack you in the head. Stop moving my you thing. You said you missed the super chat. Yes. And it's 276 from Barbecue 76. Not ringing it. By the way, did we use any of the barbecue stuff that you sent? We have not yet. No. Um, but we did just get a buck. <laughs> so, um, and we're currently really sick. So we're not going to do that until we're slightly better. Yeah. Here, here's what's happened. We, <clears throat> we bought the truck. <clears throat> And then uh, I got the buck on Monday, uh, drove to Salt Lake on Tuesday, drove back from Salt Lake on Wednesday, or sold the truck, sold the truck. bought another truck, dro- drove back on Wednesday. Thursday, I was feeling like I was hungover. I figured it was just Traveling. from the road. By Friday, I was like, okay, I'm legitimately sick and have been in bed or on the couch ever since. And it's really fun. I'm sure that you guys know this. When both of you are sick at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she never gets sick. That's the thing. So, yeah. So if if you would like to come and take care of me because my my current house whiff is unavailable. Yes. Uh, Feel free to drive by. I will, like, push him out the door. Just take him. I won't know. He won't even know. He'll be like, what? Whatever. Just feed me. Ugh. Travis Langer with the $5 super chat. I got the oldest bear. Wait, are they? Are we parting out our children now? Huh? Great. It says, I got the oldest bear. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. Bing, bada ding, bada ding, bing, 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 bing. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, scroll down because I think there's another one. Barbecue 76. Nope. It's a Dremel. He also thinks that you should drink beer and then drink some bourbon and then drink some more beer no, and then have some more beer. Beer when you're sick is a terrible idea. Hard liquor is not such a terrible idea. Beer is a histamine. If you know when, you, when you're sick and you're congested, you take <coughs> antihistamines. Beer will actually make you congested. So avoid beer. Drink. Probably whiskey is the best. Tequila is just Mexican whiskey, so it's the same thing. Barbecue 76, I'm holding this up and not ringing the bell. Thank you. I missed it. Yeah. I did not try very hard. But, uh, Jeff did not do at the Den of Tools, but he says the last uh, pallet burning bonfire barbecue is December 12th. Who, Food Jeff? Provided. Jeff Tui. Do we miss other ones? No. No, I don't think that they have. Oh. Um, so, yes, we're invited. The whole family it says, let's kick 2020 out of here. 2 p.m. or so. The theme is ugly sweater. So I need to get an ugly sweater. <coughs> food provided. By. Should we bring food? I got my smoker. I got deer in the freezer. Um, to go. Send me an email and let me know what the food theme is. Because I know that there's usually a food theme. Yep. And I will wear my ugliest sweater. I don't do sweaters. <coughs> I, I'm always wearing a sweater. Um... Yeah, that's right, ladies. Then I saw that. You should you should get the thingies that you got for your beard last oh, year. Oh, my, my little... Your uh, beard jangle things. Yeah, my beard bulbs. Uh, what's the smallest... Oh, we covered that. Oh, Travis was clarifying his comment. Not the kids, the icon YouTube. YouTube. Oh, $5 Super Chat. Thank you for clarifying, Travis. Three, two, one. Bing, bada ding, bada ding, bing, bing. Thank you. Texas, out of all your statements, that's the one you're going to get canceled over. I believe it. Um, the Wohawks is just waiting for Jeff to say, we're going to turn this live stream around if you don't straighten up. I will stop this live stream pulled over the side of the road, young man, in a heartbeat. Do not make me do it. Simo uh, says, what do you think about the Bauer driver and impact combo for Black Friday sale? It looks pretty good. By the way, just a heads up. Hmm. Did we give them a time frame for? Sale? No, and we're not going to. It's mystery. I think mystery. Okay. Game. Remember that game? Um, so the whole thing here is there were two versions of the Harbor Freight Black Friday thing that went out. I had a contact over at Harbor Freight reach out to me and said that the wrong one went out first. I have not had a chance to look at all the email. I know people have posted them online and been doing videos on them or something. 
I have a feeling that the one that they got was the early one and is the wrong one. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be releasing one of a video on the official Black Friday video. We'll see if there's any difference between the two. Uh, what do you think about the Bauer drive? Anyway, that looks like a good deal. Deer are even scarier. <laughs> Not as scary as a bear with a 308. Uh, cool tools. If I win the buzz, I don't expect you to send it to the UK. I have a plan in mind. Ooh, you can come pick it up. We can do lunch. That'd be awesome. Michael says, remembering the old Jerry Purnell line about people being stupid, I think it's an evolution of action or in the terms of field programming. I love idiots. They keep me employed. I will say, they have, you know, when I ran a, a, a company for 20 years, we had a motto inside the company. We did not tell the customer, and that was, the customer is always stupid. You know why? Because if they weren't stupid, they would not be calling us. People, only, people called us to fix stuff that they broke. So if they knew what they were doing, they would not have have, have called called us. And Michael says four points and we'll grow no more. Not so much. Yep. <coughs> uh, Alan says hello. Hey. And uh, let's see here. The that's a six point in West Virginia. Uh, I could make some West Virginia jokes, but I won't. I actually nope. like West Virginia. She's got family there. Gigglefart says, do you have a Meyer near your house? No, I don't. I did used to live in Meyer country and I miss it uh, terribly. Shopping for everything you'd want at three o'clock in the morning is fantastic. Doing anything uh, like shopping at three o'clock in the morning is a great idea. It'd be perfect for you since you have insomnia all the time. I do. And I wake up a lot at three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, hello. Okay. This is the point of the live stream where I put a muzzle on the Mrs. Bear. What? Shenanigans. Am I going to? Yeah. Hey, Farva, what's your favorite place to eat? Shenanigans. <laughs> um, so, are you going to need to leave the room? Maybe. Yeah. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I don't know who is. But. Someone has to be. The biggest danger here in October during rutting season is these morons trying to get in front of them and get close and take pictures. Same with moose. Moose have poor eyesight. They, they do not have great eyesight. I think they have good sense of hearing and smell, though. I uh, thought on the 12 volt skill tools, probably one of the best options for uh, prosumer DIY guy. YouTubers says, Hey, and Frank says, uh, picked up quite a few things today. Are you on Facebook? Dental tools page has lots of saving gentles. Uh, William says, what do you think about the colored tools at Harbor Freight? Not a fan of them. Are uh, you talking about like the bits and that kind of stuff where they color them? I've usually found them to be super soft and cruddy. Hey, this is, oh, darn, you're sorry, sir. We know copy you. Eh? Beige Plague was funny. <laughs> Asylum says. Frank says, Mrs. Bear had a show where the picture over the left shoulder. Yes, we talked about that. Sin said, that was funny. I laughed out loud. Uh, color-coded sockets by Pittsburgh. Not a fan of them. Uh, everything I've used from Harbor Freight that was color-coded was super soft, like it was made out of butter. Um... Princess Jamie says, I never owned a 4570, but I've shot one, that and a Marlin 444. I've wanted, I've been looking for reasons to get a uh, 4570. I don't think it's going to happen, though, because I just I just can't justify it. I'm very strict on keeping to a minimal set uh, of, of calibers. And if I go bigger, it's going to be like 300 Win Mag or something really big. Uh, and if I want to get another lever action, it's probably going to be like uh, 357 or 44 so I can get wheel guns that go with it so I can I can share the load when it comes to that. Ed the old tech guy says, I have a friend with a handyman business. He is going to try using nothing but Bauer tools for the next 60 days. I can't wait for his full review. Keep me dialed in. I, does he have a channel? I would love to hear what he says. I know people who use them professionally, and I, I'm still like, eh, but hey, if it works for you, it works for you. Uh, what are you doing over there? You it's can't a help bell. Yourself. There's a super chat. Chris says, oh, good night, all. Hope you all feel better soon. Sonny, Chris, you have a good night. Thank Take you care. so much. If have you a... win, we will email you. Yes. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Bing. Bada ding. Bada ding. Bing, 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 bing. Thank you. Gary Mike says, the guys at Henry in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, do make great items. Uh, make them great. You know what? As they say, made in the USA or not at all. You've got to love Henry. Uh, the pause says, I like my 50 count. I saw a video the other day of somebody shooting deer. It was over in, in, in England, I'm pretty sure, with a 50 count. I'm like, and it was in an enclosed space. I'm like, what are you doing? 
I don't know. I could. I didn't get the whole context of what was going on, but it seemed not very sportsmanlike. Uh, Fred says, for me, the first tools were Craftsman my dad gave me. And uh, Calvin says, I swear, Barry, your microphone isn't on. Check your settings. Check your head. If you're using headphones, make sure they're plugged in. If you've got speakers, make sure they're pushed in all the way. If, if, you, if it's not pushed in all the way, you won't make contact on all the different stereo channels. And because we split the channel, so you're probably only hearing her side. I guarantee uh, if you check that or check, make sure you don't have like mono set on. They'll probably fix that. The worst state for hitting animals is Alaska. Uh, I get it's bad for hitting them if you hit them because you're hitting like moose and big things. But And there's the flying bear issue. Uh, New Jersey. The deer are like mile markers in New Jersey. It's ridiculous. Do you want my pen? Mm-hmm. How badly do you want my pen? I'm doing numbers. Give me the pen. I don't care. You're going to give it back in the same shape that you got it. Give it to me. Okay, you're not getting it then. Give it to nope. me. Uh, not, nope. Give it. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> did you see what she did? What are you, a moose? You I'm your me. moose. She was here earlier today. They were, I gave them a stuffed animal. I gave her a frog and I gave him She a stole my raccoon. <laughs> he stole the raccoon. He was like, he me back. She like, stole my raccoon. She, she was yelling from one seat and she was in the other and she was like talking and he's like, I hope you fall off and he's like poking her with two Would fingers. this face steal a raccoon? Yes, it would. Yep, I shot with my own two I just like to pen, so probably. The first person who says yes wins everything else I'm giving away. <laughs> Asterisk, not really. Um... Macadamia, Macadamia says, Jeff, you're welcome to come down and use my shop for a show or two. Oh, my gosh. Where are you, man? I'm sure you told me, but I'm brain dead right now. Man. False. You, you could be next. Oh, I don't fall. Wait, you know what? Maybe we should I could come down. We could do lunch or something. Hey, how you doing? No. Oh, you just <laughs> cannot help yourself. I told you. She's a she is an evil little git. I'm, I'm just snuggling. Just Actually, the 243 six millimeters below average cartridge, not caliber. It's ballistically coefficient and is subpar being neck down 308. Stick with the 08, better in every way. I'm not changing from the 308. I'm just saying what the most common is. Um, uh, sounds Sound is good in Hawkeye country. Of course it is. And uh, let's see here. Killian says, I'm going to take another crack at small game with my Ruger 1022. It's an excellent... Excellent rifle for that. Uh, I put a Shiner Peep sight on my Henry Big Boy 45 Colt. And that was Rail Schizo 2007. I said the same thing in my email, but thank you for your effort you put into your content. I really appreciate your everyman approach to tool solutions. Thank you. I It's good to be appreciated for the things that we do. And also for people pushing me off camera. Why are you pushing me off camera? Oh, now you made me drop no. my raccoon. Oh, let me get back. There. There he is. By the way, the children have requested that we put the, the new uh, Steve's cousin up above their door. That's great. So, did you have a place you wanted to put him? No. Okay. So that's what we're going to try. Um, can't find the tool review. Carpenter Ants in Google. Someone post the link, please. And Toon says, what are we drinking tonight? Uh, we are drinking... This raccoon, grab the raccoon, he's going to fall again. I'm trying to count over here. Milagro. Tequila. It's the Reposado. I meant to grab the Añejo. I'm usually kind of snobbish when I, I you know, I'm of, of, kind the, of? of the belief that life's too short to drink cheap liquor. So I try to buy only the best, but Reposado will do. And besides it's Milagro, it's all good stuff. Um... Macadamia says, thank Eleanor? you very much. No. Fred says, I've been bad. I lost my bear, so I'll check on my payment. Oh, don't worry about it, sir. But we appreciate the support. Uh, Fred says, we're up to 275. Excellent. Awesome. Tell you what, if we make it over 400, I might give away an Olight. Uh, Michael says, get roped into something today. Had a bud ask me about an old motor controller for a small lathe. Some very old tech that was confusing him. I think we got it solved. That's awesome. That's, that's good stuff, man. Uh, Rail says, thank you for all your effort. 
Fred says winner winner chicken dinner. Actually, I had I had meatloaf for dinner. Uh, Blind Tillman says asking Jeff what is wrong with him is longer than you can stream Jesse. <laughs> Uh, EDC information. I contest the results. I want to recount. I don't blame you. She's definitely, you know, uh, on the take. Um, the thoughts on Spider Co. Uh, I used to be big into Spider Co. because I wasn't really all that aware of, of knives. I remember getting my first Spider Co. thinking, this is so cool compared to everything else that's out there. Uh, these days I'm more of a Benchmade guy. I also get uh, a lot of CRKT stuff off of, uh, Woot. They, they have some great deals every so often. Um, I like to flip knives. Uh, is that better than the Harbor Freight tool? I would say that I think that it is, but I haven't compared the two. I would not say that it is like significantly better, but it definitely seems to have some slightly better built construction. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I know that we're trying to catch up, but I just saw Captain Ken's message. Can't he said, yourself. no, I can't. It says, I hope you all don't have the creepy cred. We have had to deal with it here. So far, my missus has been in the hospital for over four months now, oh. hoping she will be home by Christmas. I am so sorry. And I really do hope that she comes home for Christmas. Captain Ken, thank you so much we'll, for sharing that with us. We will keep you in our prayers. And we will absolutely keep you in our prayers. Um, we should keep a prayer list. We should. Um, so thank you so much. And I, I'm hoping that she'll be home shortly. Anyways, I know you're trying to catch oh. up. Uh, the bear is flashing people. You don't even know. Okay. No um, more drinky drinky for this one. We're going to get demonetized. John Smith says, I will take it. That's what I've heard too. Um, I can't help myself. I'm broken. He's lost his uh, mind. Princess Jamie says, I have Olaf on one of my frozen shirts. I love Olaf. Olaf. You know, I, so I was driving through uh, Idaho, and I saw Caribou National Forest, and me and my buddy must slam on the brakes, pull over, and start getting our phones like, are there really caribou here? We couldn't find any caribou. Oh, my gosh. The caribou were a lie. We're like, if we can hunt caribou. We are going to Idaho. Uh, Fred says, DeBear, I saw that Montana had some big 2A wins. We did, thankfully. In fact, the new governor has said that if he gets constitutional carry on his desk, he will sign it, no questions asked. Michael says, the international thing may not be a good idea. U.S. spec chargers run on 120, 60 hertz. U.K. and related countries run on 220, 50 hertz. U.S. spec power supplies don't like it. That's right. Um, cool tool says I never win stuff. I got a letter once saying I won a $3,000, 3,000 pound of credit vouchers. It was a scam. Yeah, I get those. Yeah. I get those. Every day. <laughs> uh, how do you enter the giveaway? You send an email. I posted information about it. Send an email to, uh, Mrs. Rex right below that. Yes. So I guess I probably answered that question. Uh, tool deal alert. Walmart tool chest. $87 was 200. Wow, you got a link for that? That's awesome. Send an email to Mrs. DeBear and she will post it. Uh, or if any of the, the mods have that, they can they can post it too. Uh, more names we commonly misuse. Band-Aid, Kleenex, ShopVac, Rollerblade, Coke, Xerox, Crescent, Sawzall. Yep, all of those. Yep. Uh, for ICI, it says, just me and the missus for Thanksgiving. We got to do what is right these days. Wishing you and Mrs. Bear and Happy Cub Thanksgiving. Yeah, we canceled. We had to cancel. Uh, all of our uh, our holiday plans. It really sucks. We had all sorts of plans for all over the weekend. Um, do you have the Rona? No, it looks like it's just the seasonal flu. Yeah. Uh, the truck video was really interesting. Thank you, Cool Tools. I gotta say, it's good to get rid of those payments. Um, yeah. What is this about a tool giveaway? We're giving away tools. And Ed, the old tech guy, thank you so much. He says, to try to win the prize, please send it to Mrs. The Bear at denoftools.com with the subject XYZ. So I appreciate you mods so much. Thank you. Uh, deer turkey this Thursday. Well, we had planned on doing both, but since we're staying at home, it's going to be just us. It's probably just going to be turkey. Um, I was planning to uh, spatchcock some on the... Pit boss, but it all is dependent on how I'm feeling by then. Um, from your experience, what brand of lithium power tool batteries hold up the best in cold weather and unheated shops? Uh, anything with a Samsung cell in it. 
so that's usually the higher end batteries um, and and not the, the lower, the cheaper stuff. So any of the Makita, the Milwaukee, the higher end DeWalt's, uh, even the Hercules, they're all using um, those. The, the cheaper batteries you see at 1.5 and stuff like that are usually like the LGs and, and other no names. Um, Mike says, some test of germs can live in alcohol environment or bacteria can be intoxicated. But it, it's like um, hand sanitizer for the inside. And uh, no, Killy says, I'll take him shooting in the backcountry. Heck yeah. He's kidding about that. Not Just even in case a anyone's bit. a little crazy and wants to It's not it. actually hand sanitizer. I That's say right. it's like it was a metaphor, like a simile. I'm just saying, people have issues. I'm going to sick my raccoon on you. It's okay, we're friends. You're covered in my fur, poor little guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm a little loopy. And if you notice, I'm also slowly sliding under the table. Um... My gentleman says, hey, Lon, you well, you drew the short Swiss roll. You can't get go get Jeff now. <laughs> Jim says, stay hydrated. Water. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Thank you, sir. You too. Hope you and your family have a fantastic time this holiday season. And remember, everyone, to, it's been a hell of a year, but we're all still here, most of us. And to give thanks to our creator for all of that. Hey, Brad's workbench is in the house. Hey, Brad, how goes yep. it, my man? Um... The uh, Fred Hill says, oh, here's a soapbox moment. I think it's California that the new mandate is you have to wear your mask indoors. They said wear your mask due to being family. <laughs> yeah. Doing blank. Yeah, they can. Yeah. My hairy. Anyways, um, family friendly. What, what was that? You know, Mike's Shvetty balls, you know, people love my Shvetty balls. The Carry rum raisin flavored. It, You're it behind. Was on PBS. You're behind. Thoughts on Black Friday table saw sales? Well, the best one was that Hitachi Matabo HPT thing. I haven't seen anything since that comes close. Uh, cool Tool says brandy, warm milk with honey in it. Take brandy with warm milk and honey in it. We also don't have paracetamol here, unfortunately. No. Uh, Jesse just shaves Jeff's back and wear that. Nice. Gurr, the red bear icon. <laughs> First time here, how's everyone? King's Cone says, we're doing miserable. How about you? Halon says, uh, on my way, can cure sickness with Cincinnati Medicinal Skyline Chili. Oh, that would be that awesome. That would be awesome. Do you happen to know if Napa is going to have any sales for Black Friday or the holidays? They will. Will they be any good? Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, Lingo says, the wife got me right. We oscillating multi-tool for Christmas present. What are good types of brands of multi-tool attachments? It depends on what you're going to be doing with it. Um, uh, Harbor Freight has some good ones. Milwaukee has some good ones. I'm a huge fan of Bosch. Uh, but if you're just going to be doing drywall and wood and stuff like that, it really doesn't matter. If you're going to be doing steel, nails, that kind of stuff, that's when it becomes an issue. Uh, did you see the news about a white deer stag? Duncan was telling me something about that. I didn't actually see it, though. Uh, Gary says, was highly rated vet tech program in Eli, Minnesota. Mine helped me pay for a lot of new equipment. And field work with big and small animals. Wilhawk says, okay, hive mind, 98 S10, turns over, won't start, code P13, 113, change the intake air temp sensor, help. Hold on, I got to sit up, I'm sliding too far down. Excuse me. You're excused. Oh, I don't think L? so. Too loud. Being a little noisy over there. Mm -hmm. I would never. Oh my yeah. gosh. All right. Have you counted up all the entries? Um, I did. There is 84. All right. Ed, the old tech guy, why don't you do the the, the number calling? Uh, 1 to 84. Let us know what you think. Um, Fred says, I have to make this family friendly. My wife's nephew had the toilet seat fall on his junk. Oh, my gosh. The worst part, he was laughed so hard he was crying. His sister-in-law wanted to kill me. Did he, you do I mean, it? No, he said he was laughing so hard. I know, but my thought is, unless you did it. Simo says, I just got the Bauer Impact for 60 with the super coupon and the $5 coupon that expires today. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm fading fast here, people. 
Uh, Seema Woodworks has just got the Bauer Impact. For, oh, I just read that. That's how fast we're fading. Uh, King's Coin says, I'm going to pick up the DeWalt Flexfolk Combat Tractor Supply tomorrow for $199. Looking forward to getting it. Jennifer White Wolf says, 338 Lapua. Nice. I don't think I can afford to shoot that. Uh, take out a mortgage. Jacob says, should I buy the $40 Chicago Electric Quarter Inch Impact Wrench? Uh, I don't know what you're going to use it for, so... Blind Tool Man says, we always only hear Jesse's side because she is always right. Okay. That's right. You're getting voted off the island. William Romero says, hi from San Diego, California. I would say I would love to be in San Diego right now, but I'm really sick, so I could just be sitting in the hotel room dying. We have a number. We have a when, winner. Let's, did, you, did you figure out who I it did is? figure it out. Who's the winner ch- Winner chicken dinner? The winner winner chicken dinner is Die Diz. Woohoo! Yep. Died. So I'm sending you an email. I am like, okay, so I'm really good at like, remember, at, at, re, at, hi, apparently not speaking English. Never mind. We're just going to move along because I cannot speak Actually, English. Actually, we're going to do better than that. Um, what number was that? That was 66. Okay. Who's going to pick a number for us next? You know what, Die, you won. You pick the next number. We're gonna pick. We're gonna give two of these away. So we're gonna pick out of the same group. So Jimmy Smith says, "How do I get in the drawings?" Uh, we posted in, in the comments. You send an email to Mrs. DeBear uh, with the uh, subject X Y Z. At least for this one, uh, it's a little too late to do this one. We'll do it for the next one though. Um, so anyway, uh, die. Pick the, pick the next number between one and uh, eighty five. Eighty five, but not. 66. But not 66. Children. Yes. No mas. Yes, ma'am. No mas and pfeffer. Griffin? Yes. Do you need time out? No, sir. Because you kind of sound like you do. She said 20. So I'm going to. 20? 20 what? 20. Griffin? <clears throat> oh, my go, go to your room. It's too late. Go to your room. I asked, mom asked repeatedly, very nicely, hey, and you can apologize to them for interrupting the live stream. We asked very nicely for you guys to stop. And we told you beforehand, you know what the rules are. Sure. You're a good little boy. You know better than that. Sure. Now run along or I'll stick the deer on you. We, I have another winner. Because Di picked 20 and then I had to count. Okay. Who's the winner? It is Angela... And we always say your last name wrong. No way. Carlson. Car. Did we say that right? Carlson. Yes. Yes. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, let's see here. Let me look something up here. Um. Let me see if this is the right thing. Okay. No, that's not it. So, let's see here. We got one. God, sorry, people. And we got uh, at least one more giveaway from Tack Life. And we are going back to... I don't know. I can't, I can't process anything. A very tiny saw. Very All right, we got another one of the saws. And again, you have to send an email to Mrs. DeBear at denoftools.com with the subject of Mr. Bear is always, always right. Nice. Ha! Ah. Okay, you spelled that wrong. What did I misspell? Right. I got the email right, right? Yeah. Talk to the raccoon because the face isn't listening. Nice. Oh my gosh. Hi. He's judging you. That's nice. If you don't know, raccoons are very judgmental. It's a well-known fact. They're very vicious. Okay, let me get through these unless somebody keeps interrupting me. Um... 
Fred says, I want a Henry 3030 or 4570 lever action. I wonder if Uncle Joe will let us keep our lever actions. Nope, you only need shotguns and you got to shoot them in the leg. What? David says, yes, that's what Joe said. Uncle Joe says that. It must be true. David says, yes. <coughs> Ed, the old tech guy, says, the video of my buddy using nothing but power will be on my channel. I will let you know in the video. Our videos are progress. Thank you so much. By the way, got to check out Ed, the old tech guy. He's got some good content over there. Uh, yes, that face would. Would what? What'd I do? Princess Jamie says, trash panda. Did you call my raccoon a trash panda? It is a trash panda. All pandas are trash pandas. You don't know. At least he washes his paws, unlike some people. Princess Jamie. Um, wishing everyone <laughs> at the DOT, including red and blue, a happy Thanksgiving. Shine on. Thank you, C. Adams. That was awesome. Captain Ken says, I can't believe he grabbed the ears. I know. And he threw them. You licked my pen. We're married. It's a family channel. You can't do that. We're married. Uh, absolutely love the channel here in Pittsburgh. That's awesome. Thank you, Twisted Wrench. Uh, John says, Jeff, if you join our worship clan, watch out for stray teammate torpedoes. I've heard that they I've are a heard problem. That's a problem. Macadamia says, the lick pen is my <laughs> the sword, especially now in the Wuhan virus era. Uh, Jeff Wuhan says, Jeff, remember who prepares your food? May the odds ever be in your favor. Right now, it's the little girl who's been doing it. Um, Fred says, I have to make this. Family friendly. My wife's nephew. Oh, we talked about that. TD says in NC where I live, there are 14 deer hit per one mile. I believe Whoa. that. McNeil says, yes, Idaho Falls. Lunch would be awesome. I want to visit up there, but probably not until spring. Well, I, I guarantee you if I make another trip down that way, we'll, I'll hit you up and we'll, we'll stop and have a bite and a beer or something. Uh, John says, Wolf, it's the Halon Wolf stuffed animal on sale now for nine ninety nine. Bob says, never had any trouble with hearing either of you. Nothing wrong with your mics. Thank you. Uh, then we come down here. Oh, it's jumping on me. It's jumping. I'm going to catch up here. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. If it, they've been on sale about three years, so now Fools probably own a few completely over the top. Biggest thing here is a deer. Fred says, I don't understand what advantage going to a rifle with a pistol round is 9 millimeter. 344 millimeter. Um, the rifle gives it a longer combustion, uh, process. So you actually get faster rounds. You get equivalent of plus P or sometimes even slightly better, uh, when you're going with a, uh, a rifle length pistol carving, uh, Macadamia says, if you visit, I'll serve you Don Julio 1942 tequila. It's the best. I love Don Julio. I do. Uh, Captain Ken says, I hope you all don't mind the creepy, don't have the creepy crud. You read that one before. Yep. Uh, Mitch <laughs> says, any recommendations on eight gallon of thereabouts compressor from Harbor Freight? Thanks. Uh, I've heard some people say that the McGraw, the McGruff tool compressor or crime compressor, crime dog compressor. I'm trying to make a joke. It was lame. It is not bad, but honestly, I've not tried it myself. Uh, hey bear, sounds like you need a good hot toddy. Honey is good for bears. Straight catnip says. Yep. And Fred says, do you think that buck knife blades are too soft? Typically, buck is the harder, more brittle, as opposed to case, which are softer and easier to sharpen. So the the, the, give, the takeaway is that the softer the blade, the sharper you can make it. The harder the blade, the longer it'll keep an edge. Uh, Matt Co. versus Icon Toolboxes. Um, I would probably go with Icon, it, it, unless there's some strong reason to go with Matt Co., when Icon are on sale, it's hard to beat it. Uh, honestly, I'd probably go with U.S. General, to be honest. I, I just, I, you know, there's mods you can do to it. You know, I'm a thrifty kind of bear, so that says a lot. Uh, Michael says, talk about poorly named places. We have a thing here called Mount Trashmore. It's now a park with a good-sized hill and man-made lake. Interesting. Uh, Lee says, happy Thanksgiving. Like your, your people's costume. Any good tips or products related to the auto glass industry just started the trade. Oh, dude, I've been so long out of that sort of thing. I, I really couldn't tell you. Um, I'm guessing I haven't dealt with auto glass seriously in 25 years. Uh, Brad's workbench. Even me? No, not you. Yes, ne never, even Never you. Brad. Don't listen to him. He's not. Uh, big DT kettles. Just like off I worked in gunsmith shop. 
that was above an indoor range and we had a clown that shot a 50 caliber black rifle. He liked to bounce maxi balls off the range ceiling. That would be it. He'd be gone if it was up to me. Jeff, I guess we're on a sucker's list, LOL. <laughs> uh, Mount Trashmore is in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Really? What about Turducken? We could probably do a... Um, Turdeerham. I could do a Turdeerham. It would, we, that would be fun. Um, Fox says, can't have Turducken due to social distancing. They must say six feet apart. Uh, Ronald says, recently purchased some Tabo table saw. Good choice. It was a hell of a deal at that price, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Captain Ken says, Thanksgiving this year will be in her room at the hospital unless they change the visitation again. And you just reminded me, I have tequila and I don't have to be anywhere in the morning. Cheers, brother. Fred says, have you seen Blue lately? No, he went off into the woods for a bender with his cousins and I haven't seen him in a while. You know, the bears, they get that syrup in them. Uh, I'm confused. You're too close to me. <gasps> Move over. I love you, princess. I would love to hug you and snuggle and everything else. You know I would, but I don't want you to get sick. Yep, Al, out of the chair. Uh. One Night in Baghdad. Isn't that a song? I watched a Brit contractor drink himself under the table mixing vodka and Red Bull. The guy was able to absorb an amazing amount of liquid. The problem with Red Bull and vodka is you're exceedingly drunk, but you're super stoked and you think you're fine. Well, not Red Bull. It's like, hi, I'm totally says, fine. these nuts? Trust me, you'll like these nuts. They're the saltiest nuts you ever had. Captain, oh my gosh. What? Someone's licking my hand and it's not you. Nope. Labradog. Hi, Princess Hound. Come come over here. Okay. Come here. You want know lovings? Come here. Hi, there she is. That's the princess. Someone slept with me last night and I finally had to kick her out of the bed because she kept pushing me out of the way. Anyway. Uh, Captain Ken says, I bought them Tabo HPT, but haven't set it up yet. Oh, hi. Uh, Cool Tool says, no paras parasimetal. I can't pronounce that. Paracetamol. Not in the no, U.S.? No, we don't have it. Do you happen to know if Menards will have another Black Friday sale? Uh, allegedly, they will. I forgot to mention in the last one it was the pre-Black um, Friday sale. That was my bad. Would Stephen know? Stephen might know. Yeah. He probably took a song with Or if though. anyone knows... They should feel free to. Chime PT in. said he sent a, a picture of the white buck to Mrs. DeBear. Oh, cool. Ronald says, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours also. Uh, Drew says, Bears family, thank you for always having, for all for the always excellent tool recommendations. About to upgrade my circular saw and recommendations for a weekend woodworker. Uh, are you looking for corded or cordless? For cordless, I would probably look at Cobalt, is a great prosumer grade. Uh, for corded, probably um, probably Ryobi, maybe the Bauer, uh, or maybe for cordless, for lower grade cordless. For corded, uh, I'm a big fan of the, uh, believe it or not, the, the rigid corded table saw, or not table saw, circus saw. I don't know, pro now's not, not probably the best time to ask me this stuff. Um, it looks like Black Friday will now run November and most of the month of December, Fred says. I'm expecting it to go through January, to be honest. Uh, Hobby Woodworker says, I don't like paracetamol. I don't like it because I can't pronounce it. The effective dose for the day gets close to permanent liver damage. And Nick Oldright just discovered that the tools, your depth of knowledge is impressive. Thanks for making some difficult shopping choices a breeze. I'm glad we can help. That's why we're here. And uh, we're trying to give people practical information that they can use. Uh, and not trying to be biased or like the tool bros or like, dude, you got to buy Milwaukee or an idiot or something like that. Uh, any thoughts on the 30 piece ratchet Husky wrenches for $59.99? Uh, nope, because I can't remember what they are. I will say Husky has some decent, uh, you know, DIY level stuff. And it's it, depending on your store, they do have a no questions asked warranty. Depending on your store, it can be easier than some. I had I cut one a ratchet in half with bandsaw just to test it. Uh, they returned it. It took them half an hour to figure it out. 
Ed the old tech guy says 66 is the number I chose. Did we do this already? Y yes, we already did that. We, yep. Did we really? Yeah. Whoa. Fred says, no, I didn't. If I did, she would have killed me. Uh, Jimmy Smith, how do I get in the drawings? We just covered that. Do you happen to know if Menards will have another? We talked about that. Don't worry. We Words are hard, Mrs. DeBear. They're so hard. Did you read Joseph's super chat? Uh, no. What is the best 12-volt professional driver? Thank you so much for the four ninety nine super chat. Three, two, one. Bing, ba -da -ding, ba -da -ding, bing, 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 bing. Bing, bing. Besides me? Uh, yeah. Uh, Milwaukee, without a doubt. I mean, I'll get. I'll be honest. Oh my gosh. Makita has an excellent line of 12 volt tools. They're just hard to find in store. You pretty much have to order all of them. There are very few places that actually care. They have a huge selection of 12 volt stuff, but they're hard to find in store. Uh, I would make an awful parent prefer Torquemada's methods. <laughs> The Inquisition, let's begin the Inquisition, stamp out sin. We have a mission to convert the Jews that the Jews just can't refuse. I'm not claiming it right now. It's History of the World Part 1. Mel Brooks. Yeah. Probably only second to Blazing Saddles, one of the funniest, best movies ever made. That could never have been made today because the reasons. Um, Michael says, so when I go to hell, any messages you want delivered? <laughs> I always like that one. I was like, no, this isn't Satan's workshop, but we can take a message. Um, okay. I have to clarify something. Apparently I was totally wrong. Paracetamol is acetaminophen. So I thought that there was another active ingredient in paracetamol that we don't have here. We, apparently we just don't have paracetamol, but it's acetaminophen. So sorry. Notice that's you. If it was me, she would lie and cheat and steal to admit that, not admit that she was wrong. So Why did you says, marry this lying harlot over here? Well, you answered it right there. Okay. Harlot. Um... <laughs> Okay, bonus round. I'm going to give this away to the first person who can tell me what Scarlet the Harlot is from. Oh, it's not Charlotte the Harlot. See, I don't even know. Okay, um, but you have to be looking at the first one. I don't there. know. Mrs. Bear is satisfying. Mrs. Bear got it wrong. Did someone just call you satisfying? What? I That's think they right. were just saying it was satisfying for you. Fred Hills is funny thing. Available ammo right now. 6.5 Creedmoor, 7.62 by, I think, 45, Ow. believe it or not, 40 cal. Yeah, all the stuff that everyone's moved away from. Oh, my it's gosh. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the only good stuff is we have a huge stockpile of ammo. I've been buying it for years. So, David, for just such occasions. David H. says Iron Maiden. David H., please send an email to Mrs. DeBear, and we will send you your purplish light. You can have that. Thank you. I will not lick it. I will. No. For an extra won't. five dollars. <laughs> you won't. Um uh, and uh if I just remember. Yeah. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm off to bed and Simon says I will probably be asleep by the time you read this. LOL Shine on Bears. Must be nice to go sleep that fast. I mean I'm realizing behind, but oh my gosh. Awesome. You and the family are always welcome. Macadamia says, thank you so much. Do you happen to know, Jimmy Smith asks, if Menards will have another, we talked about that. Please don't repeat yourselves. I know I get behind, but it just, especially on a day like today, I just get totally lost. I think it's deja vu all over again. Uh, one of the reasons I like to smile is the length, the length is long enough that there's every very little flash. Might be a good choice for the cub. I don't know what that means right now. No, we're checking out Log Home Builder in Libby, Montana. Name is Meadowlark. I just started looking. Uh, when we buy property, we're probably actually going to go with a pre-built home because it's just faster and easier. Yep. Do you have any experience with the folding 10-inch miter saw from Craftsman? Uh, not personal experience, but I can tell you it is exactly the same as the old Porter Cable. That's weird. Javier says, hi, guys. Okay, it's not exactly the same. They did repaint it. In fact, if you scratch the paint, it's probably gray underneath. 
Michael says another million dollar idea that went exactly no place to duck and TV dinners. Imagine that. Uh, Fred Hill says the range I go to has a Gatling gun. You can fire. In fact, if you see the pictures from the Mrs. And I's outing in Vegas, when we were down there, I uh, we went on a date night, went to the, what was that place? It was, there's two big ones where you shoot machine yeah. guns and stuff. She shot the MP5 and the uh, M4, but the booth right next to us had a, a minigun, a, st- a, a mounted minigun. It looked like fun. What about gator chicken? That's gator with a chicken in its mouth. Not in its tummy. Uh, and predictions for the absolute steal of the month, best deal yet to come. Boy, that's a good question. I don't know. I was planning to do an overview of that. There's a bunch of ads that are going to come out tomorrow. They came out today and tomorrow. So I can't really make that right now. So far, the best one has been the one is, is you've missed so far is that the Metabo for $300. Uh, if you bought it local at Lowe's using the price match off of the uh, uh, Acme, the, that place that sells anvils. Um, the... McAdamia says, the reason people Mexicans put lime on everything and drink tequila, it tends to kill the bacteria, and that's not a stereotype. It's true. I thought it killed the taste, because I've had Mexican beer. I Ugh. love lime. Chris, I'm not a fan of it. Chris says, the look she gave you about your saltiness made me spit out my rum-infused eggnog. Now i got to clean my living room. I'm really sorry. You're about welcome, Chris. rum-infused eggnog. You're welcome. I wish I had some rum-infused eggnog, but somebody refused to go to the liquor store and get me rum. Why are you talking about yourself in third person? Because I don't know who I am. Um, there you go. Jimmy Smith says, you are way behind. Thanks for the information about Menards. You're welcome. Sorry I'm way behind. I know. You have a lot of trains by your house. Do you know if you get trains that are only tanker cars? Uh, we call them rolling bombs. Yeah, we get those. We also get airplanes. Airplane fuselages going to yep. Seattle. Super cool. We get grain. We get coal. We get oil. Uh, the only thing we don't get are passenger. Passengers all go to the north. They yeah. don't love us. Well, we used to get passengers, and there's a push to have them come back. I think it would be great. Specter Air says, is it safe to store batteries on a charger in the toolbox power strip? I would think it would be a potential fire hazard. Uh, higher end ones, I would say it's probably safe. It's mostly safe. I would say don't do it as a rule of thumb. The cheap stuff, if you're buying like cheap stuff from China, no name kind of stuff, no. <laughs> Uh, well, Halen Wolf says, Hey, Husky is my cousin. We knew he wouldn't be a cute wolf. He loved licking trees. <laughs> the whole multiple eye color thing. It's from the sap. Oh, the sap. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Bob M says, Hang in there, Jeff. I'm hanging, brother. Oh, I'm getting licked again. Really? Oh, you're a good hound. You're a good hound. Uh, Paramet- paracetamol is European for acetaminophen. So why did they just say acetaminophen? Because they're European. Could just say Tylenol. We could I, also use metric and not be idiots. I, um, yeah. So Bar, I think it means Bauer, is the company that made ice skates? No, but when I first saw it, the first tool that Harbor Freight came out with in the Bauer name was the freaking planer, which uses blades, which look like ice skate blades. I'm like, there's no way. They're getting this from Bauer. That was hilarious. Even the font was similar. Uh, but no, it's a brand owned entirely by Harbor Freight. Um, Macadamia says, Bosch makes an awesome 12-volt system. They do make a good 12-volt system. They don't have as many tools uh, in the 12-volt as either Makita or Milwaukee. And they're, they, the price point is not as good. Macadamia says, space balls. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Wilhawk says, what about Steppenwolf? I love Steppenwolf. Uh, Paracetamol plus coating. Yes, please. Don't forget the Monty Python movies. They're classic as well. Gotta love them. My mic isn't off. I'm just being quiet because, you know, I talk too much, apparently. She does. Blind Toolman says, from The Hobbit. No. (laughs) <laughs> we got some Iron Maiden guesses. How do you like the California governor went out to eat with no mask? I think the man should be arrested. Can you be arrested for just being an a-hole? No. Is that against the Family law? Family-friendly channel. No, you cannot. 
No more drinky drinky. What about you. cheating on your best friend with his wife? I mean, on um, nope. Oh, okay. Um, because he should go to jail for that. Uh. Friend says you're right in the range I go to has automatic gun. Oh, the range I yeah. and you can rent. I think it's called Battlefield Vegas. Is the one we go to. Princess Jamie says eggnog is gross. I'm sorry, but we cannot longer be friends. Uh, Fred Frank says I like lime, but not in the lemon. Drinking alcohol disaffects the inside. Cheers. We're fighting the Rona together. We can fight the Rona. Wahak, when he is up at three o'clock in the morning talking about how he's fighting the Rona. I'm going to call you. Okay. We're calling it on the last giveaway. Have we done Have we done this yet? Did we already give this away? No. Oh, good. There. Well, we've given three things. This is the fourth thing. So we have... This four. should be the fifth thing. Yes. I don't know who I am or where I am. You guys do you. Tell me if you want. <laughs> Maybe somebody will send you something. Um, so we have... Hang on. We'll let the princess pick. Don't look. You can't look. Okay. You have to pick the number once mom says it. We have 79. So, number between 1 and 79, including both 1 and 79. Ready? <laughs> and go. 8. My favorite number. Ooh, oh, 8. Okay. Eight's your favorite number? Yeah. Nice. The number of infinity. It was my yeah. favorite number because Griffin was 8, and I was really excited that he was turning 8. And I just really liked the number 8. I don't know why I like the number 8. That's cool. Uh, my liver probably needed the cleaning, the cleaning anyway, and it could have been worse. Last night I was drinking Lagavulin. Lagavulin, I can't remember. My brother's housewarming gift. Oh, nice. Gary says, we have a lot of deer and bears up here in the northwest Wisconsin every year. So far we've hit four deer and one bear. One bear, one bear. Oh, poor bear. Aww. I posted on I posted on my Instagram about the deer. Somebody said, How's the truck? Nice. <laughs> like, I shot it, bugger. Paul St. Marie says, Greetings, Bear Clan. Sorry I'm late. Too much to worry about today. Sir, I'm sorry. You, I'm glad you made it in time. Uh, she'll ring the, the dingling thing here in a minute. I will say, we already gave sorry. people the shout out about <clears throat> not letting Moose lick their car. Can so thank this? you for the update. Uh, she's going to do the ringing. You have to do the countdown. It's $5 Super Chat for Paul St. Marie. Thank you so much. Uno, uno, tres, dos, uno. Good job. You counted backwards. Captain Ken says, I have have Norco 10. Does that help? I would kill for some Norco right now with the way my joints feel. Although, typically, okay, I'm not going to talk about it because YouTube will demonetize me for that. Yep. Uh, But there's a way to get the acetaminophen out. Google it. It's fabulous. Yep. You're going to stop talking. Just say Mrs. Bear doesn't get this far behind. That's right. Mrs. Bear doesn't get the live stream started half the time. So... (laughs) So you see we truth in advertising have a winner. <laughs> Is it a chicken dinner? Yes. Okay. It's Frank. <laughs> Frank. Yes. Okay. Not Frank Landgraf, is it? Yes. We don't like him. Oh, can't be him. Well, he was the winner. He was the winner. <sighs> Fine. Frank, congratulations. Love you, guy. We you win. Winner. I tease. I tease. Thank you. My sense of humor might be a sketch off tonight. <laughs> Yes, Fred, and he also said, did you hear about the Alaska airline that hit the brown bear? Yes, we did. And I'm actually- Do not Google airplane hitting deer <clears throat> on runway. Oh, gosh, no. It was terrible. Ed, the old tech guy, says, baby bear girl did an excellent job. Great Espanol. Hola, como estas? Mi nombre es Eleonora. Ha, I know Spanish. You, you know some Spanish. Yep. Some. Yep. Uh, it's almost, it's even better than my German, because we all know I can't really say Deutsch anything in German. German. <laughs> Deutsch. Philip Boyle with a $2 super chat. Three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, and I have to say, I really apologize. I am like goofballs, bananas. Jeff and I both are because we don't feel good. Most of the time when I send you an email when you are a winner, I ask for your address and I feel think like half of them i just said winner winner and i didn't say send me your address so i know who is the winner and i know that i sent you a winner email but send me your address when that's you part of the challenge you have to be this tall to go on the ride 
Okay, well, right now, I'm, like, on the floor. <laughs> no, if we're so using that, like, barometer, I'm, like, uh, I'm, I'm laying on the floor, drawing with my toes. <laughs> like, sorry, people. All right. Uh, I just have to say, also, because we talked about, we got the whole Tack Life thing. Thanks again, Tack Life. Yes, thank you, thank you. That's all the Tack Life tools we have to give away. Uh, that was all four, right? All yes. four. Thank you so much. You guys were fantastic. And thank you for everyone who um, followed directions and sent emails in correctly. Yeah. Shipping, remember, shipping around the holidays is going to take a while. So, yeah. Um, that said, uh, I talked about Olight and, and their uh, Black Friday sale that's coming out. I'm also, because we're sick. I don't want you to get sick, baby. True night. What? Nothing. She's lost her mind. True night is having their own Black Friday thing going on. And we got one of these that we're going to be giving away. I don't know what it is. I oh. don't know. I don't, don't know. know. And this is, think of this as like the less expensive version of the Olight. Rather than having the magnetic base and the cool magnetic charger stuff, this is just your basic, uses a micro USB charger covered a little rubber thing here. Um, it does have the tactical Whoa. end on it. You're killing me. Smalls. Yeah. Killing me, Smalls. I don't know if we're going to give this away tonight or next week or <clears throat> next year. Or I don't know. Sometime soon. Sometime soon. But pay attention. Fred Hill says, did you hear about the Australia with the super secret lockdown? Was that the one with the guy with the pizza? Um, I pizza? heard about that. So basically somebody tested positive and they didn't disclosed that they were a pizza delivery person delivering pizzas all oh, over town. Did the pizza test positive? So, no, but a whole lot of people did. So, any who's there. Captain Ken is speaking Spanish. My house is Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, for two years. Marines? Si, compare. Supper Fidelis. Compare das. My brother's a Marine. Selecto. Diabla. Gotta love the core. Estrados. Um, Bill asks, do you carry a sidearm? Well, that's a silly question. Uh, if so, what is it? Um, uh, what? I was envisioning hilarious things about you having more arms. Yeah, I'm not carrying one right <laughs> now. I can tell you that. Uh, uh, it's free country, at least for now. So yeah, I do uh, support the right to arm bears. And uh, Red and Blue and I, we all agree that we carry the SIG P365 XL is our preferred sidearm of choice around the house uh, for uh, uh, home use, if you would. We like the uh, P320. Um. That's right. Need to lock up the governor and his relatives in power. Oh, my gosh. Fred says Amtrak goes through Denver and then to the mountains. No passenger trains to go by us. Now Union Pacific has a passenger train that goes to Cheyenne, Wyoming for Cheyenne Frontier stays. That's cool. the only reason to go to Cheyenne. That and the cattle auctions. Um, trolling for dollars and um, Ed, the old tech guy, and quite a number of people are also saying that they won. <laughs> ah! Uh, in Oregon, you can only have six people for Thanksgiving, but if you have a funeral for the turkey, you can have 30 guests. We talked about that here also. Uh, Mike says, I had to lie to my girlfriend telling her my stomach hurts so she would leave. Thank you, Griffey. She would leave and so I could catch the end of the show. We're not for lying, She's but welcome. we understand. She could join, she us. Could we join have, us. We have lots of couples who watch. Michael says, my favorite number is dot zero two. There is a reason why I'm not invited to parties. And fully understand. Um, well, H says, you forgot to tell me I won the Copper Light Mi Warrior Mini. No, you did win it, but you were very gracious and gave it to me as an early Christmas present. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It was very kind. You shot the truck already. Um, no. Have you ever had Havana Club? No. No. Did you hear about the Alaskan yeah. air that hit the brown bear? Yes, and I'm boycotting the Alaskan air because of it. 
I think it's terrible PR. You're not in Alaska. I, not that I've ever flown on Alaska Air. Uh, Paul St. Maurice says, well done, Princess Bear. Uh, Ed, the Otec guy says, baby girl did an excellent job. Great, Espanol. Thank you. We Our favorite Spanish or Mexican restaurant in town. Uh, it was so funny. So, Los Pinos. Los Pinos. That's great food. Just fabulous food. Yeah. Fabulous people. First time we go there, he... And uh, the guy who runs the place, he comes over. He's like, oh, and what would the princess like? And she looked at mom. She looked at me. He's like, how does he know I'm a princess? No, I, said, <laughs> I looked at him. I was like, did you just call me princess? Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, no joke. They have the best horchata I've ever had, like ever oh, so in the history really? of life. Yes. You didn't say that. Amazing. Yeah, I did. Thanks. He is so out of his mind with being who ill. Who are you? Why are you in my house? <laughs> Whose house is this? It's the raccoons we're just visiting. That makes so much sense now. But the horchata is like amazing. And I'm like an horchata snob. So, yeah. Yeah, That's for sure. Frank says, I love you guys. We love you too, Frank. You know, we tease because we care. Philip says, I propose new four-party system run by TTI, Stanley Black & Decker, Chevron, and and Harbor Freight. (laughs) You lost me at Stanley Black & Decker. I'm okay with the other ones. Um... Macadamia says, airplane hitting the deer on the runway worse than the F1 car hitting the rabbit? I would say so. Yeah. Maintenance man. Hey, dude. How you doing? Another person whose channel you really got to check out. He's got yes. some great content. Yes, yes, yes. If you guys haven't posted links to your channels, please do so. Brian says, does anyone have the secret decoder ring for the DeWalt cordless toolkits? I can never tell what tools are being offered. Old brush, Atomic XR. Yeah, good luck on that. That is a you got to do a deep dive anytime you're buying those kits because you never know what they're throwing in there. Fred says, did you hear about this? We talked about that. Uh, Anthony says, what do you call a dog with no legs? Doesn't matter because it's not coming anyway. What do you do with a dog with no legs? Take him out for a drag. Uh, Sergeant Joe Smith says, Jeff is so far behind. We sent Marty McFly back to help. Nice. Yep. Angela says, thank you. I have such horrible headaches tonight. I'm not sure what I want. We're not sure what we gave away. Yeah. Frank Langraff says, please give Elle a hug for me after you guys feel better. Frank, we will. I promise. Yep. Uh, we have a family motto, hug them till they squeak, but only when you're not sick. Yep. Fred says, not sure if I heard they were relocking down the country again. They're sure trying to. Uh, he's talking about a story. Uh, PT says, Corp had just had birthday on November 10th. The Marines. The Corps. Yes, yes. the Corps did. And uh, <laughs> sent a happy birthday message to my brother. Always try to, you know, honor and respect the, the birthday there. Uh, Rail says, smarter than the average bear. Imagine if Hilti made firearms. They'd be incredibly expensive. You'd pay for them weekly. Uh, Sig P320, is it composite, like GL, like Glock? Yeah, polymer. Yeah, all the, the current sidearm kind of stuff is, is polymer. Uh, the really cool thing is that the firing mechanism that has the serial number is a component. So you can take the frame... The top and everything you take it off and you can buy a different you can buy a subcompact frame or all sorts of stuff and you can it's modular you can like legos you can change it into whatever you want for cheap or cheap ish um excuse me uh fred hill says i believe this happened in arizona they arrested a man for carrying an empty holster oh <sighs> that's special macadamia says didn't jeffrey dahmer have more than six people for dinner Ba-dum-bum. Ba-dum-bum. Uh, tartas e los mas delicioso, says Ed the Otec guy. Delicioso. John says, was just reading the Bears Den Daily. Front page says, Halo Wolf sued by Bear Girls for copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, he could have suggested Apex, Paul said. Fred says, the Bear, you're from California. They have some of the best Mexican food. Usually, I'm not. Let's Let's clear this up. I'm from the Midwest. I was born in I'm Germany, from California. lived in Iowa, Nebraska, a little bit of Ohio, Kentucky, some Indiana. Lived, I did tw- almost 20 years. I did 17, 18 years. Uh, hard time in the Bay Area. I am not from the Bay Area or from the California. Yes. The entirety of the rest of my family down to the dog is. That's right. And I'm just saying you're all sus. Um... I don't even know who you are at this point. But you're right. They do have some of the best Mexican food. As long as you're not in the Central Valley where the Mexican food sucks, which is surprising because it's all Mexicans. Well, they're eating at home. Why would they Well, Hawks says, I'm not smart enough to post a link from my phone. 
I'm not smart enough to post the link from your phone either. Do you have any thoughts on Toolbox Widget? I can't think right now. Sorry, Spectre. In fact, we're going to be wrapping this up because my yeah. head's about to explode. Mine too. Jeff, I've been researching 10-inch miter saws when I noticed that the new Bauer 10-inch is strikingly similar to the Menards Master Force. They look so much alike. They do. I don't have any more data for you. You're not the first person who said that. Wohawk says, wrap Ellen plastic and hug her anyway. That's a good idea. And by the way, I was Navy, not Marine. Captain Ken, don't worry. Nobody's perfect. The other day, I wanted to... Uh, Matt says, howdy, Jess and Jeff. Sitting uh, in the shop at the computer having a beer. Sorry, trying to look around the, the camera. Yep. What does the recent Bear S- Bauer sighting saw have over the Admiral? It's a 10-inch rather than a 12-inch. Um, and it's got the drop shadow light rather than the laser. And you'll take a Midwest has the best Mexican food. When I visit Cali, it wasn't good. Sorry, peeps. Bay Area, Bay Area has some pretty good Mexican food. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, do you have an insight into how Harbor Home Depot's Black Friday season is going? Not right now. Sorry. Uh, Angela says, I hope you both feel better soon. Thank you. Fred says, good night and get well soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to call it there because I'm literally about to pass out. I feel yep. nauseous. I need to become unconscious. And we thank you for joining us. Thanks again to Tack Life. Yes. For supporting the channel and, and doing the giveaway tonight. It's we don't do a lot of giveaways here, and it felt good uh, to, to do it this time. Anyway, you all take care. God bless, and as always, shine, shine on. on.